All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again. It is Tuesday. I believe it is the 19th of January. We are back. The Hot Tag Podcast. Yours truly, Shaheen, and my main man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Boxman. I know it's the 20th. Shaheen's a day behind. Don't worry about that, folks. Is it really? Damn it, I, I, I titled it wrong then. God damn it. <laughs> that is don't, don't worry. You can edit it when it's done. Yeah, I know. I know. You can just edit it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Starting off with fun. That's right. Shaheen, are you having a good day? I am. <laughs> Indeed. It is it's freaking cold here, though, dude. Is it? We're having a nice warm week here, man. Well, you live in Texas, man. I'm in the Northeast. Yeah, it's been up in the... It was 60-something today. Mm. Man, I'm, people were running around in shorts and tank tops. Yeah, it's 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 freaking cold here, dude. Look like fucking Florida here today. Yeah. By the way, folks, before we even start the show, we have changed the website's name. So you mm-hmm. can go ahead to THTPodcast.com. It can't get much simpler than that. THTPodcast.com. Go ahead right now. It's easier than ever, I promise you. We got the social icons right to the right hand, top of the corner. You can click right on it. You can go right to the Facebook. You can go right to the YouTube. You can go right on the stream, so it's just one click away from hearing us live. Live. Do you not want to listen live? I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah. There you go, man. There you go. But you know, sometimes so, we fuck up and we don't like record half of the show, so it's 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 good to listen live. Well, that's why we started on YouTube, so I don't have to remember to record. Right. Well I would that was just a that was a way for me to draw more people in to listen in live. Well yeah, yeah plus Skype was sucking big dick anyway, so as always. Yeah, we're just, so, kidding. we're just kidding. Skype, advertise us. Oh yeah, sorry, Skype. Well, it, it, my internet connection was sucking big dick. How's that? There you go. Fuck your internet connection. Fuck my internet connection. Fuck the internet. Period, dude. Uh, yeah, screw really the internet that we're using to do this show. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We're some fucking hypocrites. We um, are. Maybe There's a lot so. of you. Do you want to talk about the news and then get into the reunion? Because I, I did not watch TNA, so I'd rather talk about that next week. Um, I did watch Lucha Underground, though. We can talk about that. You did watch Lucha, so I, Lucha, that's fine. Well, I'd rather talk, honestly, I'd rather talk about Lucha than TNA. Okay, so all right, let's get right into it. Lucha Underground. Do you want to talk about that first, or do you want to get into the news? You can start with Lucha. Give me one sec. Let me pull up Lucha. Lucha, lucha, lucha! I'm, I'm liking it, man. Cage. Cage. WWE, how did you pass up on this guy? Cage. I got I, both companies have passed on this guy. There's got to be a reason we don't know about, though. There's okay. got to be. I don't know what it is. Maybe he's a dick. He kind of looks like he could be a dick. Yeah. You know, That's- I don't know, but I don't know. I mean, who cares? I mean, the, the guy's got a, a, a... I mean... Imagine him, him and Brock or him and Ryback going at it. That'd be a badass match. Hell yeah. Or, you know, shit, even him and Cesaro, him and Sheamus, any of those, you know, good guys. Him and Sheamus would be good because you can tell Cage is a little physical and Sheamus, they say, is very physical in the ring. He lays that shit in hard. Shit, look at Cesaro. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was watching that match with uh, Sami Zayn. I was about to say Sami Callahan. Sami Zayn and uh, Cesaro from NXT TakeOver 1, I believe. Um, dude, that match was fucking awesome. Awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, he, you know, the, the, the show of strength, just hard-hitting match. They were stiff. That one spot that, that uh, Sami Zayn did where he kind of like, he, he, he jumped right through like the second rope and did like a tornado DDT to the outside. Yeah, okay. between the turnbuckle. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually through the the, the, the turnbuckle. So. Yeah, it was pretty. It, Zane's got some pretty cool stuff, man. I, I do like 
him I, 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 out of all the people that are being moved up. God damn, you put the Ascension ahead of someone like Sami Zayn, but I think they're using Sami Zayn right now to kind of be their guy in NXT to bring people in. I yeah. get it. I get it. And you know what? That's probably a good thing for him, you know, to start with, and then we'll see what happens. But uh, I do wish they'd bring him up. But, but see, the thing I don't understand is clearly, I mean, this this seems to be a pattern now that the role after WrestleMania, somebody debuts, correct? Yeah. All right. Well, I was hoping it was going to be Zayn this year, but clearly that's not happening because he's, he's the reigning NXT champion. So I'm guessing they're probably honestly going to hold him out for like another year. That really wouldn't surprise me. Have him just carry NXT. But the problem with that is this guy's been wrestling for like 10 years already, man. He's already got – I mean, I don't, I don't know of his, of his track list as, as far as his injuries, but I mean, I'm sure he's beat up probably. So oh, there he is, man. He, I mean, I think you froze up on me there, but yeah. With that style. Yeah. Yeah. You would figure with that style he's got a bunch of bumps and bruises, so we'll see. But um, I don't know. I mean, there's still time. He could lose that title. But I did read that they're looking to hold him back for another year just to keep him, you know, just so he's he's good and ready when the time is right. Oh, but, good and ready. Oh, yeah. Sami Zayn is not good and ready with the Ascension R. That's, that makes sense. God, the ascension. Jesus, we'll get into that later. Honestly, I feel bad for them, man. I feel bad because I, I, I mean, can I, you really blame them? Can you fully put the blame on on the ascension? Because you know it's it's a script. They've been given this gimmick. It's it's not them. Oh yeah. But honestly, I feel I feel embarrassed for them. You know what I mean? It's just I don't know, man. I don't know. I I. W w w We'll get into it later, I guess, because we were going to start with Lucha, weren't we? Yeah, I was just waiting for you to get the results. Oh, I've got them. I, I, I had them already up. I just had to find out where on the... Uh, I've got like nine different pages loaded up on the... In the, right. the browser, I think the kids are calling it nowadays. The browser. The browser. I think, man, uh, I'm talking about Lucha. I could really go for some tacos now. That's what I had for dinner, dude. Oh, you asshole. Well, I have a six-year-old. And he watched, I forget what movie it was, like a SpongeBob or something, and he heard the words Taco Tuesday. So every Tuesday, we have tacos. Oh, you're a lucky man. Well, you can... You know, I have to tell us, I don't feel like making tacos. Although I cook a lot. I just... Yeah. 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 I, I, I do most of the cooking in my house, too, so... Yeah. What's up with that, man? I mean, I, I, I find myself cooking a lot now. What's up with men cooking nowadays? I don't know, but I see it a lot. My my brother-in-law does 90% of the cooking at the house too. I don't know, man. I like cooking because I like things to taste the way I like them to taste, and my you know everyone seems to like it. If yeah. if my girlfriend cooked, we would have eggs, spaghetti, ramen noodles, or peanut butter and jelly every night. Well, that's no fun. No, and that's about the only thing we would eat. It it that would be it because she can't cook anything else. This girl can burn rice. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask you: is is does she just not have the formula down, or does she just have no cooking talent at all? I don't know. I had no cooking talent when I started. What I did is I got these little things that are called recipes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I think the the kids are using them these days. And um, you, what you do is you follow step by step what it says. Yeah, the kids are using them to, to cook fucking meth and crack nowadays. Yeah, they're using them for meth, but <laughs> meth and, and, and how to make bombs and shit. But no, we're, 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 we're like 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 tomorrow. I I already have dinner ready for tomorrow. I'm doing a crock pot roast. Nice. Yeah, I. Followed a recipe. I cut up the potatoes myself. I cut up some celery. Got some Lipton onion soup mix in that bitch. There you go, man. Now, I haven't ate dinner yet, so please. Oh. All right. Well, then let's get into Lucha so you don't start. Uh, please, yeah, please, let's get into some wrestling. We don't hear stomach growling on the air. Oh, you're, you're going to hear it. You already got me coughing. That's enough. So. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into Lucha. Lucha. All right. Lucha 
underground. Absolutely. Is it really underground? Like, is 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 the, like the the temple underground, literally? All right, I think you're reading too much into the name. No, I'm asking. I'm some serious. Is it? Not? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, th I think they're just in a warehouse that they refit to be around. It, to me, it looks like an old, like it, it looks like a gym almost that they yeah. did to be a. Um, but it, it it could have been a warehouse that they just totally redid. I don't know, but uh, I don't think they're actually underground, like in a bomb shelter or something. I don't yeah. know. But they should just do it from like. They should just do it from like uh, Conan's basement. <laughs> in Mexico? Uh, well, shit, wherever he's at. I don't know. That's, don't that's know literally underground. That's as underground as you can get. Yeah. yeah. That's authentic. We like authenticity. There you go. We could do that. That could be done. But I do not think that they are actually underground. But I will tell you, I think this fucking Dario Cueto guy, this owner, this general manager, whatever he is, is fucking incredible. He is. Well, I mean, clearly, because he's an actor. It's not even that. I literally hear him say bad lines. Like, some of the lines he gets are very, very corny. But a lot. God damn, can he pull them off to where you're just like, nah, that's something he would probably say. Yeah. You know? Well, they, I, honestly, I wouldn't really know, because the last two episodes I've been watching the Spanish version on mute. So. Oh, that's right. You don't, Man, you got to... Damn, God, it's 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 fine. I still enjoyed one on mute. I don't give a shit. Well, you know, you're not getting the full experience of the matches because you know, you know, bro. Right. If you like, if you if you watch the Hogan uh, Macho Man match on on mute, it's not good. Who said that? Who was it? It was a Dave Meltzer. Meltzer and Brian Alvarez, those motherfuckers. Dave Meltzer. Dave. We've all do. I mean, I mean, you know, oh, we're, no. we're pot right now, so we can't really say shit about the guy. The guy is, you know, legendary in his in his in his own path. Sure, you can. Well, we kind of did already, but I mean, fuck, fuck, saying that though, I mean, watching that on mute wouldn't be a good man. I mean, uh... honestly, some some crowds just make the show. I mean. The Lucha Underground crowd is good, and they do help. But those, I mean, you, you could do those matches in front of no crowd, and I think they'd be pretty damn good. But WWE's crowd is what makes some matches better. So, yeah, that's what happens. You put a match on mute, you don't have the crowd behind them. Might sound kind of shitty, but whatever. Speaking I don't, of crowds, if you want to talk about crowd reaction and how that kind of participates in the whole, you know, not really participate, but you know it adds the atmosphere. It really adds the show. I mean, ECW. That's that's a prime example. Excellent example, Shaheen. Very good. Thank you, sir. I'm I'm head right now. Thank you. Did you did, did you take some Alpha Brain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pal. I took some Cialis too. Yeah. On it. dot com. Alpha Brain and Cialis. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking balls. Austin loves dick pills, man. That guy. He must, man. Meanwhile, I watched I, I watched that Broken Skull Challenge last night. That's a great show, man. I, I got to put it over. Is it? I haven't, I haven't seen it. It is. It, well, it's on CMT. I, not, not, most people don't watch country music television. <laughs> yeah. I don't listen to country music, so I can't watch I, the television. I, I, I listen to very little of it, but, um, but most of the country I listen to is old country, so... But uh, that's because of my dad. But um, yeah, it's it's a damn good show, man. And besides that, country music television is basically like MTV now. They're a bunch of fucking. All it is is a bunch of country guys and girls just making out in camps and shit. Yeah, they're all reality shows now. Or well, you know, I'm 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 using air quotes for the word reality, by the way. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, that's all television is essentially now. It's just fake reality shows. Right. That's why I go home and watch like fucking Night Court from 1989. Yeah, that's reality. That's that's like, at least I know it's fake and scripted, and they admit it. You know, it's fine. I'd rather watch something like that. 
Okay, that's that's more reality than reality. <laughs> yeah, that's about more reality based than anything. But I'll tell you, man, you watch. I see some pretty pretty crazy people on Night Court that are famous now. It's kind of weird. Do you have any examples? Michael J. Fox is in like the second episode. Really? Um, I've seen. I think his name is Scott Wolf. He's he was in News Radio. Um, did you ever see Dodgeball? The movie? Yes. Yeah, with uh, was it Adam Sandler? Not Adam Sandler. Uh, uh, Vin- same thing. Vince Vaughn. Yeah. No, I'm at the other guy. Ben Stiller. Yes. Yeah, he's in it. The guy. The the weird crazy heavy guy that's on the on Vince Vaughn's team that's he was on a ton of those um, night courts. Um, okay. Weird. Uh, John A- John Aston who played um, the original Gomez and the Adams family had a regular part on there. Yeah. God damn, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of more people that I've seen on that show, but I can't think of names. But if you watched all the way through, you'd be like, oh, my God, I saw him in this movie. I saw him in that movie. He was in this movie. So, I hear that. Yeah. Bullshit, yeah. man. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's jump to Lucha Underground. Oh, yeah, I guess we got to talk about wrestling. <laughs> Probably. One night we'll get into movies. Fuck it, I don't care. One night we're just gonna fucking get off this wrestling thing and go fucking nutty. Shit, yeah, maybe we, we maybe we'll do like a special edition fucking uh movie hot tag podcast. Well, it really wouldn't be a hot tag podcast then. No, we'll just call it uh we'll call it the tag. <laughs> that, would, the hot? that wouldn't make sense either. <laughs> no, just the tag. We'll call it movie tag. We'll, 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 we'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. Mm-hmm. Let's get this. Let's get this goddamn podcast going first, and then we'll, uh, well, I started talking about. Uh, we were talking about Dario Cueto and how fucking awesome he is. But like I was saying, he gets shitty lines, and they it just doesn't matter. It's just that you know the, the the promos are so cinematic, and it's it it doesn't matter how bad the lines are. Meanwhile, if you gave scene to those lines, I guarantee we tear his ass up. But um. It, yeah, it's because he probably deliver him like a fucking idiot. So yeah. But yeah, exactly. you know, so uh, right on this show. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I don't know, but yeah, he's back there talking to Phoenix, and you know, you gotta, you gotta take out um, uh, uh, Prince Puma. So. I don't know. It was awesome, though. I loved it. And then we get into the first match, which I thought was fucking amazing. It was yeah, they match. killed each other. Yeah, four-way elimination match. Um, I've only heard of one of the three of these guys. Aerostar versus Arginus versus Angelico. Angelico? Angelico. Angelico. That sounds I'm more me. Angelico versus Cage, who is Brian Cage, who we all probably know. Right, dude, go ahead, man. You can start, but this match to me was fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean, for all the you know people that say you know they're just a bunch of spot monkeys, that's what you know that's what lucha libre is. It's it's a mix of just spot fests, mass gimmicks, comedy, and uh, you know just a bunch of different stuff together. You, know, you really gotta watch it. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a I'm an expert in, in Lucha Libre, because I'm definitely not. I'm not the biggest Lucha fan, but I kind of have an understanding of it, so I, I understand, you know I mean? it. Yeah, it was a bunch of flips, you know, it was just flip here and there, but it, it was fucking awesome, dude. I mean, Brian Cage, um, the Titus O'Neil lookalike, what's that guy's name? Ezekiel uh, Jackson, is that it? Yeah, Ezekiel Jackson. You think he looks like Whatever, I mean, you know, kind of. All right, let's 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 stop this before we say something totally <laughs> random. <Yeah. laughs> I'm, jump. I'm glad. I don't know, man. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Whatever. <I'm glad laughs> but, uh, keep going. <laughs> God damn. Um, oh, man. <laughs> lost my train of thought. But uh, Brian Cage, dude. I mean, he's one of those bigger guys. Typically, you don't see guys like that in, in, in lucha libre matches. But you know, I think he he did his his job well, and you know. 
they gave him the mic for about what three seconds, which was perfect. Don't give him the mic much longer than that. Yeah, um, it was. It was a it, even what he said was pretty stupid, but um, right. <laughs> awesome. that, that gives you a sign that he should he should be off the mic. That so. fucking flip that that one guy did though was over the turnbuckle. Oh yeah, dude. There, there was like a thousand crazy fucking flips. That's that's the bad thing about Lucha Underground is because there's so much crazy shit in every match that it's it's hard to kind of like you know remember any any specific spots because it's it's so many of them. Oh, you I. Know? Re- but this guy went over all three turnbuckles, jumped like nothing, was about two feet above it, and did a fucking flip. Yeah, I I, I like that white guy though. That's who I'm talking about. That's who did that flip. Oh, oh I, uh, I know what I know what spot you're talking about. The spot, uh, he was the, like the last guy to do the flip, right? Yeah, and he did it out of the in the corner. Yeah, I th- I thought he was gonna run and jump in the corner on the ropes. Motherfucker runs and just flips his body over the turnbuckle, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's he from? Is it? Didn't he have? I, I thought he had like a Portuguese. Yeah, that was. Pretty, I thought. Was, what was that? I don't know. He came, out, he came out just looking like a white dude that was about to get on a fucking a a a a a, a bike and do like a cycle race or something. Yeah, I don't know. I swore there was like a Portuguese flag or something on his jacket. Maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. Maybe somebody can confirm that in the chat room. I don't know. I, the only fucking flag I know is red, white, and blue, motherfucker. America! 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 America. <laughs> I, I live in a few different countries, so I'm, I'm familiar with a, a ton of flags, I should say. But um, Whatever. This match was awesome, dude. Hey, Fuck. man. Hey man, fucking flag! Come on, dude! Fuck Come flag. on, bro! Come on, bro! All right, bro! All right, bro! We're broing and dooting it up again, dude. We're gonna bro it. All right, we're 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 gonna, we're gonna bro it up. Next thing in the ring, bro, was Chavo with Blue Demon Junior. Um, yeah, this dude, I still don't like Chavo, man. This guy still fucking sucks. I'm loving Chavo, man. They're letting him be himself. I think he's good. I'm liking him. What can I say? Yeah, he still sucks, man. <laughs> Better than ever. He still sucks, man. He's All right. still garbage. I'll go with that. If you still think he sucks, fine, but he, but he is better than he's ever been in this company. Right, yeah. Better than ever, regardless yeah. of that. Still garbage. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's that's my opinion of good at all. I'm, I'm liking him, and you it's like I've said, Chavo to me was the kind of guy, it didn't matter if he was there or not. I didn't really care. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Couldn't care less about this guy. Yeah. I mean, he, he wasn't anything big, but I, 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 I guess, I mean, I can't really say I ever hated the guy. Like, oh, God, get him off my TV. But I was never like, oh, man, I'm going to miss Chavo if he's gone. You know? Yeah. I, I, I feel the exact same way about AJ Styles, too. Like, I can. Uh, I, I, don't know. Know. I would not put AJ in the same category as as Chavo. I'm just it's. I I don't. I'm not categorizing anybody. I'm just saying I I feel the same way about AJ. I, if he's there, he's there. If he's like when he left TNA, I wasn't like eh, they need AJ back. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it didn't really make a difference. No, not really. Made no difference. Just made for shitty TV the night he left, but. Whatever. But since you mentioned TNA, Uh-oh. now honestly, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't watch their uh, season premiere, mm-hmm. but just judging off off the shows that I've seen the last few months, I think TNA shows have been really good. Like as far as like good matches, like really good matches. So, but I, I just feel like TNA has such a bad rep, and, and the product is so stained that it's just like. No matter what they do, it, people are just gonna go in there automatically, just thinking this is gonna be shit, and yeah. that's what I'm gonna believe. No matter what they do, it's just gonna be shit. Now, yeah. if you put DNA and you take those same exact matches and you put it under a different promotion, just a brand global force, just do the whole fucking thing, random people would mark out and say this is the best fucking thing that ever happened. Probably, it's just 
I don't know. I, I'm I'm Dude. really gonna wait to like slam TNA. I'm gonna give them a little bit of time. I'm gonna give them like another three or four episodes to to kind of work out some of the stuff, but. Yeah, I'm I'm actually doing the exact opposite of slamming them. I'm bigging them up, man. I'm putting them over. I think they've been putting on shows. I mean, fuck, dude, those those Hardy Hardy Boys matches against the Wolves and the, and the Dudleys and all those other crazy fucking Abbas and uh, what was that guy's name that I liked? Uh, the guy that used to be in the Ascension. Oh, Bram. Bram, yeah. The 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 hardcore matches between Bram and and Abbas and. All the matches between Low Key and Samoa Joe. I mean, they, we've had some really good matches. You put those matches under a different promotion, dude. People will be marking out. Probably. Yep. Absolutely. I, I kind of feel bad for them. I think they should have just, you know, just honestly came with a with a different name and just just hidden the fact that that you know, um, what's her name, Dixie Carter is, is behind this whole promotion still. I would just premiere it as a brand new, brand new. Uh, company. Yeah, I, I think they might have had the thoughts because they were trying to get the impact thing away, you know, the, the TNA name away from it, but yeah, the crowd's not going to chant impact. They're going to fucking chant TNA. It's easy. It's a quick chant, and that's what they're going to chant. That's what they are chanting, so. Yeah, that's that's what I never understand, man. Like, the people in the creative teams and, and the creative department for these, for these companies, like, you know, a, a better example on a much smaller scale, but regardless of the fact that they were on a smaller scale, this is just so fucking stupid that I just I just don't get it. The company Extreme Rising, and you know I, I've had my personal problems with them before because you know they didn't want to give people their money back and all that shit. But yeah. aside from that, Extreme Rising. Now try to chant Extreme Rising and tell me how that's gonna catch on. Um, I won't Stick even fool myself. I won't even do it. But I it, no, it won't catch. It it can't catch on. Exactly, these fucking idiots. Of course, you're gonna get ECW chance still. Another guy. I mean, no offense, dude. I love House of Hardcore, but H O H. That really catchy. <laughs> I mean, who's gonna who's gonna be on H O H? It sounds stupid. But I could hear I could hear you chanting H O H. I mean, people chant R O H. Yeah, but H O H is I don't know, man. They could say. They could just yell ho, 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 ho. Even even like House of Hardcore, that even sounds better than like H O H. That's just so fucking stupid. That does sound good. Yeah, House of Hard. Yeah, it does sound good. That's like that's it. all they can do, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. That was nice though. So you're welcome, Tommy Dreamer. Use it. Yeah. There you go, Tommy. There you go, Tammy. Tammy. There you go, Tommy. Ha, ha, ha. You could take Speaking that. Of, uh, House of Hardcore. Let me pull this up, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They, they got another show coming up, dude. Really? House of Hard yeah. Well, you go ahead and do that, and I'll finish up this little Chavo thing that uh, was going on here. Okay. Um, Chavo was in the ring with Blue Demon, and uh, they were just kind of talking a lot of trash. Chavo was saying how he's uh, he wants to apologize and. He's sorry he didn't take him out sooner and this and that. It was kind of the usual bullshit, but um, they get into it. I, I, there were brass knuckles brought in here. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I like anything where you bring brass knuckles into it. I'm a fan of brass knuckles. Um, but uh, I don't know. Chavo gets the best of him for a minute, and then Blue Demon hits Chavo. And I gotta tell you, this was the first time of, I'm gonna complain about. Um, something in Lucha Underground. That was the worst chair shot I've ever seen. From Chavo? No, from Blue Demon. It looked like it. It it looked like he hit him with a pillow. Yeah, Chavo was pretty bad at, at swinging the chair as well. I'll have to say. Yeah, I don't know. Chavo beat. The, I mean, he 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 hit some. Uh, he hit some good shots when I mean he hit a good one on Sexy Star. Yeah, I I, uh, I don't know. I guess while well, I was watching the the like the battle royal one uh, prior to watching this one, and in that one he, he had like four or five chair shots, and they all looked weak as fuck, man. Those were some weak ass chair shots. So. Yeah, they've been some pretty weak 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 shots, but I don't know. I mean, I, I it, it's early in the show. They're probably trying not to kill each other. They want to last a little while longer, so 
And I'm I'm fine with that. But just yeah, it's fine. I don't want these guys dying. So right. You know. Uh, damn it, I can't. Viewership for TNA's Impact Wrestling on Friday night. I know we're not into news yet, but this just popped up. We're talking about TNA. Might as well just say it now. 389,000. Is that including the replay? Uh, it doesn't say, but I don't think, I don't know. Either way, it's only up about like 25,000 from last week, which is not very good. Which is probably everybody that has the fucking channel. I wonder how many are. I mean, do you know how many people are probably? I hate. I I I know I'm gonna get shit, but do you know how many people are probably just watching it illegally on a on a stream instead of paying for the channel? Well, man, I just I don't get fucking people. I just don't understand. I do because it, a lot of people have to literally upgrade their whole cable package to get. A channel like Destination America. So I'm sure a ton of people just said, "Fuck it, I'm not gonna spend another sixty bucks a month. I'll watch it." Yeah, but I don't think Destination America is is one of those channels that. I mean, I have it, and I mean, I do have like somewhat of a big package, I guess. Pause on that. <laughs> but, so. But uh, no, Destination America, I don't think you. Have, I don't think you have to like upgrade like five levels on your fucking cable. Man. I know. I know. Ultimate Beef said he had to upgrade a full level to get it. Man. Yeah. That's so. And and he's got. And I know he's got movie channels because he'll tell me he's watching stuff on it sometimes. So. But um, I know people are having to upgrade, and that's probably a fifty, sixty dollar a month charge. So. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck I, that. Man. I would not pay for that. So I would I, not watch it, though. I, I wouldn't even stream it. It's not worth it. I think a lot of people are actually watching it, um, torrenting it and watching it late and just doing what they got to do. But that's my opinion. I could be wrong. It happens. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I was I was sure they're not going to get that, mil, you know, the million viewers that they had before. but They could get it. Uh, Eventually, I mean, it, it 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 could happen. I mean, there's still. I mean, this is only their second show, so like I said, I meant, I meant like right off the bat, I knew they weren't gonna get to a oh, million. I didn't. I mean, I, I didn't think they were going to. Yeah. Chat room loved the big package comment. This is this is hilarious. What was that? As you broke up. The chat room loves your big package comment. <laughs> you dick. You dick. <laughs> That's Look, another new one I got. Check check this one out, man. This is this is why I hate these fucking dirt sheets. Okay. Now tell me how this is breaking news, right? This is so okay. fucking. This is ridiculous. Ryback is a possible Royal Rumble entrant. Fuck off. Good. Oh my god, should we stop the show and do fireworks? I guess. Is that really a surprise? You. I don't know. Take- I cannot believe you didn't have me do the drum roll first. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. This is this is a waste of internet space. Why even type this up? Like people know he's co- like. Uh, it's a waste of internet space. It is a waste of internet space. It's a waste of fucking typefaces written out. It's it's a waste of everything. Just why even do this? Everybody knows Roman is gonna be there. Everybody knows Ziggler is gonna be there. Everybody knows Ryback is gonna be there. I mean, maybe there's that three percent of marks that still, you know, is still fucking real to me. Damn it. Maybe they they don't get it, but obviously everybody knows they're gonna be at the Rumble. I mean, is this really worth mentioning? And the funny thing is, they don't even elaborate on it. Is is once you click on on the fucking title, there's not even a fucking like. There's not even another sentence. It's just copy and pasted the same fucking thing. So I just clicked on it for no reason, and you don't tell me nothing else. It's just this. Ryback is a possible Royal Rumble entrant. Thank you. I'm sorry, Shaheen. Thank you. Just, I'm sorry. Goddamn dirt sheets. Nothing I can do. You dirt balls. You dicks. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> But really, honestly, man, I hate when I see shit like this. I know I have, like, I know most people probably think I'm exaggerating. 
eh, whatever, man. I have OCD about certain things. Internet space is, is one of those things. Don't waste my internet space, damn it. No, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. Do not do it. Anyway, back to Lucha Underground, man. Next match, I believe it was uh, Drago yeah. against, uh, who was the other guy? King, King Cuero. Cuero. The yeah. Hunter. The so, Hunter. I don't know. I, 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 it's not a badass match. What else can you say? Beyond badass. This was fucking crazy. This was, dude. I, the, the, this Drago, and I got to tell you, this Drago does not look like a young guy. I don't think he is. I think he's older, but the guy can fucking move, man. He's awesome, but uh, I still want to figure out how he does that tongue. Yeah, it is It is pretty cool. Because I, I thought it was going to be like, you know, kind of like the green mist or whatever. It's going to be like all over his chest. But yeah, he came out clean. Hey, somehow he has that big, long, plastic black tongue. It looks cool. Yeah. Oh, is, is that his tongue? I thought it was some gooey shit just coming out of his mouth. No, it's like he's he's it's like a plastic piece that's his tongue. It looks like latex almost. That's that's actually pretty badass. I wonder if he's ever swallowed that. I don't know. Jesus, man. Paws on that too. Uh, <laughs> I was about dicks all night on me tonight. He's a fag. <laughs> I didn't mean that towards anybody, by the way. I just had to hit it. It just made, for some reason, it was a good good one to hit at that moment. <laughs> it's probably like the most like politically incorrect show on iTunes. I don't give a fuck. We put explicit lyrics. <laughs> Clearly, we don't give a fuck. Clearly, we don't give a shit. But, uh... I doubt we are, by the way. Trust me, we're not. Opie and Anthony has a podcast, so they're, they're much more raunchy than us. Do they have a podcast? Uh-huh. Yeah, they do. I listen to it uh, every Wednesday. I think they put it out, but they put out like five or six last week. So I've been listening to Opie and Anthony all week. Jesus, that's a little bit too much Opie and Anthony for me. Well, they're on every day. Yeah, but I don't get serious radio anymore. I I used to, and I used to listen to them all day, every day. So honestly, I want to. I want to. I want to subscribe again. I'm just too lazy to call the number and go through the whole process. It's just annoying. Yeah, and they want you to, and they, they don't want you to do month to month. They want you to do, well, it's only three uh, for five years. Yeah. It's like, no. I, I hate offers like that. It's like, yeah, toss us $600 off the bat right now, and you'll be good for like four years. I'm like, dude, I don't want to do that. Yeah, just put me month to month for my twelve ninety five and fuck off. Or maybe not even month to month. Put me for like six months, something, you know. Fucking four years, five years. Yeah. We were doing jail time. <laughs> Lucha Underground, back to it again, man. We're all over the place tonight. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. This match got so crazy, it ended up being a uh, double count out. Um, yeah. Do <laughs> you know why? Yeah. That. You see Drago land? Yeah, because he ate the fucking floor. That's why it was a count out. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm not lying. I had to rewind it five or six times to watch. And I, I made my girlfriend come watch. I'm like, babe, you got to see this guy hit the ground. Yeah. I mean, you could tell that the table was, was way too close to the, to the balcony. Yeah, and then he flew right. I can't believe he broke it with his legs, but that shows how fucking hard he hit. Oh, yeah. And he... I, I think it's lucky he got his hands down, but god damn, that was a hard hit to the mat, dude. And that was barely a mat. That was a thin little mat they hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'd probably rather hit that mat than the ring, so. He, he basically ate the floor, like I said, man. That guy <laughs> munched on that carpet. Yeah, he overshot the table, and uh, damn. Drago with his tongue, he is a true carpet muncher. Yeah, Drago went oh oh splato. Splat. Splat. Yeah, but uh fuck man, what a great match though. I loved it. I what loved a great it. show, man. This show was fucking awesome. This whole, was, this whole show was great. It was a good show. Um and I guess we can get to the 
the the last match. Is this the last match? This is the last match. Well, you you get into it. Give me one second. I'm gonna put myself on mute for just one second. All right. Last match was Prince Puma versus Phoenix. Um, another two of the best guys on this show. Um, it was move for move. I mean, these guys were going back and forth. Um, great match, great back and forth. Tons of flips and flippity doos and flippity was and hibbity was and flippity doos. But uh, it was good. It was a damn good match. But um, this was an awesome match. It was, and uh, Prince Puma takes it with he, he hits that six thirty splash, man, and god damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he lands with, with his back right on your shoulder or chest. Yeah. It's like a two flips and a and a and a senton, but damn. Damn man, is it. I, good. I actually I have to I have to you know tip my hat off to, to Lucha Underground for actually you know they what they've been doing shows for what three months now four months three months. Uh huh. I mean they've kind of established a few guys already. That's kind of hard to. I mean, look at WWE. They can't do that. I mean, Phoenix. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Prince Puma. You know, of course, Morrison was already established. Yeah. But, you know, look, at, look at Cage. He came. His debut. He's already established right off the bat. You know. Yeah, I think he was in one other show for one other little match, but that was it. Was he? He was. He was in one other Lucha's like their first or second show, but he did a quick. I think he was like the first out of. I think it was one of those elimination. He was like first out. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. It was a while back. Don't not, not even worth worrying about. Um, but after this match, speaking of Brian Cage, comes in, hits the ring, attacks Prince Puma, leaves him laying. So looks like he's going to be in running for the title. Absolutely, man. That's going to be an awesome match. I'm pretty sure they faced off before. Uh... Because that they're obviously you know their stomping ground is, is pro wrestling gorilla, both uh, they they basically got their names in California, so I'm sure they faced off before. They know each other. I'm sure it's going to be a great match. That was a great match right there. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing those two also. Yeah, Cage, Cage has got me interested, man. It's not. I mean, I I can't lie. Yeah. So hope he kicks ass, takes names. Definitely, man. I am. I'm definitely excited about this. I am too. I am too. I'm, uh, Lucha Underground is just. I. I just can't wait to see it the next week. So, now speaking of Lucha Underground, and I was just about to bring this up right before Kevin in the chat room brought it up. Little spoiler alert. Anyone who doesn't want to hear, just turn it off for a second. Um, Alberto Del Rio has signed with Lucha Underground, and I guess he's already in, so good for him. Um, I like it. Yep. Not another guy, man. I mean... Yeah. He's also he looks, he's also working with uh, Ring of Honor, so... That's yeah. A, that's a cool one. I could see Ring of Honor giving these guys, you know, giving someone like him uh, a little space to go over and do something else here and there. Yeah, it's worth it, man. Did you hear about uh, TNA offering Del Rio four hundred thousand dollars? Like yeah, a time schedule. It was for minimal dates too. Um, Insane, dude. They can't even fucking pay for their, uh, you know, anything. Get some better lighting. Get some better fucking. Don't pay for Del Rio. God, they've got to fix that lighting. But um, I don't know. He um. A lot of people are saying, oh, that shows how bad TNA is that he doesn't want to go there. Maybe Lucha just made him a fucking way better offer. They've got, I mean, look at the credits that roll on Lucha Underground, some of the companies that are behind them. They've got big companies behind them. They've got fucking Miller Coors Light behind them, goddammit. Yeah, but it's also probably because he doesn't want to work for your uh, TNA. It could I mean, be. let's be honest. But, I mean, it could be, but... There could be a ton of different factors. He might not have been able to go to TNA and work for ROH. ROH might have said, you can go to Lucha Underground, but not TNA. You know, it, it, There's so many things that we don't know that could have been said. I don't think you can just go right to, oh, that shows TNA's you know, such a horrible company. 
you can't really. They're a private company. So is Lucha Underground. You don't know what the offer was. And you know what? Dave Meltzer's not always right, so that offer could have been bullshit too. So. True. But I mean, you mentioned ROH. Uh, if, if TNA is giving this guy four hundred grand, I don't think he's going to want to work for ROH. I don't think he no. needs well, like I, you, you never know. I mean, ROH and Lucha between the two of them, he might have, he might be doing damn well for himself, and I got a feeling he is. And I'm sure he can do indie dates, and TNA might not let him do indie dates like like he wants to do. So, yeah, probably so. I mean, y y you don't know. So, who knows? Anyway, but gr great for Del Rio. I, I'm I'm definitely interested to see how he uh how he does in in uh, in Lucha Underground. <laughs> Yes, sir. Is he uh? Well, did he make an appearance at, at the tapings that they just did, or is he coming up? Yeah, I think he did. Nice. So I guess we're gonna see him in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we should. Also, from my understanding, he, he debuted on uh, Ring of Honor this week. So check uh -huh. it. I haven't checked it out, but check it out. Should be good. Should be. Should be damn good. So damn good. Damn good. So damn. Uh, damn. So from here, what do you want to do? You want to get into uh, you want to get into raw? Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess I liked raw. I gotta <laughs> I, tell you. I, actually, I loved raw. I thought it was really good. But. I thought it was a good show. Um, <laughs> it's sad though because I know why it was good and I know why it won't be good next week. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I also, that um, that first segment was horrible. First segment? What was the first segment? First segment was uh, Brock coming out with, and then Cena came out. And oh, yeah. he was out there with Heyman and all this, and it was just too long, too much bullshit. No, I did like when uh, Triple H and, and Brock faced off. I thought that added some depth to the to the storyline and kind of. I mean, I guess Brock is is more of like a tweener now than, than a heel. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to make this guy a heel, he shouldn't be attacking the heels. Right. So I really I'm kind of confused, but I don't know. I kind of liked it. I didn't really mind this the, the first segment. I just thought it was really funny when uh Seth Rollins botched his his line and said. It's, what did he say? He mixed up the, the tail and the leg? Yeah, he put legs between your legs. Yeah, so I, I thought that was funny. And it was funny that Cena called him on it. You should, yeah. I mean, I, I, hey, I applaud him for that because that's that's what you should do. You know, mention it so it's it, get it out of the way. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I actually, I I thought, I liked how uh, Seth Rollins didn't actually, like, you know, he, he didn't lose a shit when, when he botched it. He kept it going. You know, and that's that's oh. what you should do as a professional. Yeah, and it's well, it's not his first time botching something, so I'm sure, I'm sure it won't be the last. I'm sure it won't be the last with with the fucking shit they have to say. So I don't know, but um, I didn't care. I, I I didn't care much for it. To me, the whole thing seemed like it was a a a, a big ad. It it all led up to being a big ad for the app. That's yeah. what it, that's what it was to me. By the way, I, I checked the app, and it's been downloaded 5 million times, not 15. So. Oh, no. Are you trying to tell me WWE is lying? Oh, absolutely. Now, let me ask you a question. Could it have been downloaded 15 million times and deleted 10 million? Possibly, or they just lied. Honestly, I think it's probably been downloaded five million times, and, it, and it's probably been deleted like four million times. So there's only probably like an active million people if that. I wouldn't doubt it, but I mean, it well, uses it, man. Honestly, do you know anybody that uses the app other than like you know like well the network? Games, but maybe you know. Well, you if you want to watch on the the network, you have to use it on a mobile device. Well, I I never watched the network on that. Yeah, I. That's why. That's the only reason I have it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've right. never used it for anything else. Not even. I have never voted on anything. So. Well, you, it's, it's pointless. <laughs> I know it's gonna go the way they want it, no matter what. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I really just thought this whole first segment, by the end of it, turned out to be a big ad for the app. And wouldn't you know it, right after this segment, they go to Michael Cole teaching us how to download an app in case you haven't been alive in the past five years. Yeah. Thank God Tout is out of the way, at least. Oh, my God. Thank God that's one thing. But holy shit with the Twitter and the fucking app. And let's show you how to download the app. And yeah, I got to stop that shit. Man. Oh, God. It, it, seriously, if you don't need, if you don't know how to download the app, just, if you don't know how to download any apps, just go hang yourself in a freezer, it, it, please. Or just go to YouTube. Just yeah, just just do something, do something. Um, but yeah, that was it. Um, I don't know. It wasn't bad. I I I, I enjoyed it. So. Um, well, I don't know, man. I I like Rollins. I just honestly think give this guy less mic time. I mean, you can tell he's – I wouldn't say he's nervous, but since he's been botching a little bit, I think he's probably a little bit self-conscious about him being on the mic. And, yeah, it's not going to be good. Well, how about they give him less scripted mic? Yeah, that's probably even better. Yeah, there you go. That 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 would work fine for me, but – I mean, he he's got to know how to. I mean, he's worked at enough companies that I'm sure he knows how to cut a promo without a script. Yeah. So I mean, trust me, I don't think WSX had scripts. Yeah, absolutely not. I don't think Ring of Honor they had were prescription drugs. Yeah, there you go. Well, you had X Pac, Just Incredible, Vampiro. Like, I mean, you had them all there. Teddy Hart. I mean, come on. There was definitely some some scripts going around that motherfucker. Yeah, there was blunts being passed around. Hepat <laughs> more hepatitis C, more blunts, more shots, pills, yeah. cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah. Down. I don't really fuck with coke, but never tried. Hey, yeah, fuck that. No, really, never. No. So, oh, we go through all that and we get a match. We did get a match, but before you get into this, you okay. said less, less scripted material, right? Now, said, what is the main reason this show was enjoyable? And and. I wouldn't say great, but it was definitely very good. What was the main reason? I'm going to go ahead and just answer my own damn question. It's Please. clearly because it wasn't as much scripted material. Yeah. I mean, you could you could you could see that they got you know they gave them a lot of uh they gave them a lot of space to do to do their own thing, and they gave them a lot of leverage. I mean, Shawn Michaels, he was just he was goofing around the whole time. Kevin Nash, you know, all that stuff is funny. It, it, you know, it's it's their own personal twist to it. I don't want to see this fucking guy come out and, and read a script to me. It's not entertaining. No, oh, yeah. Calling Triple H, Vince Jr. And, oh, oh. Speaking of all that stuff, I do have to say, Damian Mizdow, Sandow, whatever you want to call him, when he came in with X-Pac in that backstage scene... I honestly thought that was X Pac coming in like a douche, chomp, fucking crotch chopping for like a good second and a half. Dude, I honestly thought the same thing. I had no idea that was not X Pac for the longest time. You know, I'm like, what the fuck is X Pac doing? And then X Pac walked in. I'm like, oh, that's that's fucking Ms. Dow. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, man. I really like that. Well, they took a picture together. It was on it was on Twitter. It was funny as hell. It, it was a good picture. Well, yeah, I didn't see it. It was fun. I wish I could find it. I probably can if I look around. Yeah. If I find it, I'll post it on the Facebook later. But yeah, it was it that that whole segment was funny. Miz holding up the 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 two sweet, and they just fucking Kevin Nash rubbed his head instead. Yeah, and you could you could tell they were shooting a little bit. Yeah. You know, and at the end, I liked it how he was like, "Oh man, what kind of show are you running? Like, this is really embarrassing." Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it is embarrassing, Triple H. Maybe uh, do something about it. Yeah, you should be embarrassed for once. Dick. Dick. Jesus. Yeah. You dick! Dick. 
How come I get a feeling that one's going to be played a lot? But anyway. Um, Probably, yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess we can get into the match now then. Uh, Bray Wyatt, Daniel Bryan. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bray Wyatt, Daniel Bryan. And, of course, who has to come down to the ring? Corporate Kane. Yeah, fuck yeah. more Kane. Um... You got anything to say about this match? I I, I really didn't see much of it. Um, I do have something to say about this match. I feel really uncomfortable. I mean, as much as I love the guy, pause on that again. I'm just kidding. That, that wasn't that, that didn't. <laughs> But uh, as much as I love that guy, man, I I feel really uncomfortable watching him return so early. And and it's you know he's not really like medically clear, from my understanding. He kind of just saw like one of these like holistic doc doctors, not. Not a real WWE doctor, correct? I don't think WWE would allow that. No, they did. That's that's how he got cleared. Really? Check it out, dude. It's it's a fucking witch doctor, man. Well, I guess the curse they put on Vince to let him get cleared is working. I mean, I'm I'm into that shit, so I hey, I, I believe it, man. So what I, I mean, I'm not talking about you know putting fucking, you know, sage on your on your back and say your your neck is healed and fucking, you know, all that and rubbing coconut oil on your forehead and saying, you know, you're not depressed anymore, all that bullshit. No. But certain stuff I believe in. I know, you know, Daniel Bryan's really into the whole hippie movement and all that stuff, so. Yeah, I, I mean, as long as it's working out for him, I guess that's good. Nice. Oh, here's the picture. If you were in the chat room, you would see it. Well, let me go ahead and enter it then. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and post it on Facebook anyway. All right. But, uh, yeah, I feel I feel really weird watching Daniel Bryan take bumps because I, I just have a – I don't want to say I have a feeling, but I kind of do that, I don't know, something's bad going to happen. I, I don't think he's ready, man. I guess we just got to kind of let him – I'll wait till the rumble, I guess. Don't you feel Don't you feel weird seeing him take, like, like big bumps? Yeah, I like especially when you know, like read into it a little bit. He's, I'm telling you, man, he got cleared by one of these, one of these uh, witch doctors. I don't, I mean, from what I heard and what I read, it, it wasn't a WWE doctor, and he paid out of his own pocket. So, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. WWE ain't paying for no fucking witch doctor. <laughs> but um, I don't know, man. I. I, I... But what, what? I mean, what do you want him to do? You do you want? Him, but the only other thing he can do though is wrestle like he's a big guy, and he's not a big guy. No, I just I think this is this is similar to CM Punk, man. I think they just rushed the guy back. I don't think he was ready. I think this would be a different guy. I I think he would want to get back. I mean, come on, man. I mean, him and Bree are broke. Aren't you watching Total Divas? They're broke, man. They're not. <laughs> they're broke. Do you? God damn it, Shaheen! What is wrong with you? They can't make their rent. They they, they can't pay their bills. Bad times. Do you understand the stress they're going through? Oh man. Uh, Poor Daniel Bryan can't pay his rent. Yeah, I mean, let's all forget that they have a downside. If they get hurt, they still get paid. Don't worry about that. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta keep kayfabe. Yeah, I guess so. On Total Divas, you know, I that's another thing, man. They can they can eat like hash brownies on that show and they can't do anything on Raw. It was she was joking though, it wasn't real. Really? Yeah. I thought it was real. No, it was all of I, I didn't watch the episode, but No, Paige was just being a a little a a young, tight little jokester. You say tight? I did. Oh, you pervert. Like me some of that page. Puppy! <laughs> Puppies! Did you see her ass like hanging out last night? Dude, that oh. chick's got a nice little rump for a skinny chick. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm surprised they let her wear that. It's like see-through and she just wears like a thong. Jesus, look at Nikki. Her fucking tits are popping out every time she comes to the ring. Yeah, Thank God. But you know, let's. I, I'm. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. 
Oh yeah! Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really care for Nicky, man. I'd rather have Paige. I don't care for Nicky. I don't know, man. If you put well, I don't, I don't care for like the bougie chicks, man. Like the one, the ones that are like too perfect with the fucking fake tits and fake ass. Uh, not for me. There's nothing wrong with a pair of fake boobies to me. Yeah, I just uh, not for me. I can. I'm. I'm fine with fake boobies. Nah, I'll pass. Okay, that's fine. But I, I, how come I knew the chat room was gonna love the the puppies sound? Who? The chat room. Oh, yeah, puppies, man. Everybody loves puppies. Puppy! One more time for you guys. There you go. One more time for the, for the chat room. They deserve to be put over. Every show we should be putting over the chat room. These guys are fucking awesome. There you go, man. They have dealt with us through not hearing the show and everything else in between. Yeah, we certainly appreciate you guys sticking out. Definitely. Right. Definitely. Now, go out there and tell a friend. Tell like five friends or like 20. Yeah. Make this like the like the like the like the what, what do you call that the like the Brady Bunch shit? Just make it spread. Yeah, just just run up on people and and put your uh, headphones on their heads and just just make them listen to it. Yeah, run right up to them and go hot tag podcast and run. Force them. <laughs> have to listen. Yeah. Well, I think we got a actually we've got a logo now, so we'll get some stuff going soon. There you go, man. Yeah, I was just waiting for that. Now I can get some stuff made up and we can get going. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, macho, man. I'm so happy that guy's going in, man. That's good. Oh, yeah, definitely. Dude. I am definitely glad. It's about time WWE did the right thing. So. Uh, are we getting back into Raw? If you'd like. I guess, <laughs> oh, yeah. Why not? Well, we're starting to get into some of the good stuff after this. Um, after this first match, where actually why it did defeat Daniel Bryan, but it was all obviously because of Kane. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. Why even do this? Why do the match? Uh, I don't know. I guess they just had to get him on Raw since he was already on SmackDown. So let's yeah, get him. On Raw. Somebody that he's gonna win. What? Like, why make him lose? I thought the same thing. Seriously, a, a match like this would have ended up better in a in a, a, a either a double countout or a, a, a DQ of some kind. Again, just brawl to the back. He could have done that and double yeah. count. There yeah. you go. You know, or you, or Kane actually gets involved in the match and doesn't just. Did you see what Kane did? Yeah. <laughs> it was terrible. It's terrible just like anything Kane does, man. Thank you. This was the only part of the match I walked in and saw. I saw Kane pull Daniel Bryan out of the ring, pause for about a second and a half, and then throw Daniel Bryan right back in the ring. Yeah, did you actually see uh, Bray Wyatt throw him into the turnbuckle? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty hard. That was that was pretty hard. Yeah. It was it was funny though cuz he couldn't tell if he should sell his neck or his face, so he started covering his his face at first, and then he just moved on to his neck. So, I just I just find that funny, man. They give him a fucking arm drag, he holds his neck. Yeah. Oh, there you are. You're back now. You locked up for a second. Did you hear what I said? I yeah I I I, I heard most of it. I got the gist of it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Too, too much selling of the neck for me. Man. Don't have to do it for everything. <laughs> this guy fucking high fives a fan he's holding his neck oh jeez you know stack of dimes you call a neck there you go man there you go that is a pussy ass neck uh oh still love you Daniel Bryan just st stop doing the yes chant though I'm kind of tired of that just uh, wrestle man I, I just like him wrestling I don't want to I, I don't know I don't care for the yes chant, man. I don't care for it. It is really over. It's it's cool, but it's like, all right, man. I've already seen this for almost like two years now. Has it been that fucking long? Yeah. 
It started out with the no stuff, man. No, no, yes, yeah. It's been like two years, dude. Luckily, he was gone for a while. I, I, I think I said this last time. But thank God he was gone for a while, so. <laughs> Don't worry. When he was gone, Big Show was doing it, so. Well, everybody was doing it. Bree was doing it. Stephanie was doing it. Yeah, it's terrible. Fucking Big Show. God damn it. Big Show trying to steal a guy's gimmick. <laughs> what a dickhead. Something's got to get me over. Yeah. That guy's a douchebag, man. Giant fucking dumbass. Giant twat. Giant. Giant. Rectum. You dick! That's it. <laughs> Giant dick. Giant dick. Hey, hey, you're all over him tonight. <laughs> Just a giant walking dick. Oof. Shaheen's all over it tonight, man. <clears throat> Believe me, I don't want to be all over a giant dick, man. That's the last thing I want to be all over. All over that giant dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> all righty then. All right. Yeah, all righty <laughs> All right, on to the Legends panel. <laughs> Legends panel, man. Uh, Byron Saxton, you uh, you want to take this one? Go ahead. Now, I was actually going to ask you, is is there a way where we can take like a five-minute break and we can play some music or something? Um, yeah, we would just have to do two uh, hangouts. Yeah, let's let's do that because this dog, this dog is going to start barking. I can is tell you. Right here? Yeah. Give me like five minutes. We'll be right back. All right. Give me one second. All right. There we go. Hold on one second. All right. You tell me when you're ready to hit take it, and we'll take it. All right. All right. We are back. We are back indeed. And this guy is still on camera. I don't know if he knows. We yeah. are back indeed. And this is the part, the Hot Tag Podcast review of Raw, and I stand corrected, today is the 20th, which would be <laughs> Raw, January 19th, 2015. So, we are back once again. Sorry, I had to take my dog out, so we had to restart over again. Yeah, so, cool. if you want to watch the rest of it, go ahead and click the previous video. That should be the part one. And this is part dose. There you go. We are back. And it'll be up in one piece on iTunes and on uh, the, the Hot Tag YouTube. I, I combine them before I put them on. Nice. So make it even easier if you want to wait another day. I'll have it up there later. Nice. So oh, let's see. What are, what, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, while you were gone, the guys in the chat room begged me to get one more um, sound effect for the show. And which one is that? That's a huge bitch. Yes, yes, man. I've been I've been doing that, man. We needed it. Thank you, thank you, chat room, for uh, requesting that. There you go. So now that is added to the uh, to the quintessential media player soundboard. Awesome. I certainly appreciate that one. That's a huge bitch. Yep, I got that. I I. I... I got a few new ones over the weekend. I got uh... to beat the man. You gotta beat the man. <laughs> That's a good one too, man. I got a few. We'll play them. And I, I, I did. Oh man, you got to get in the chat room. Um, uh, <laughs> I got distracted by giant boobies. Giant. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Titties? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He's gonna come in just for the just for the puppies in the chat room. So where is the chat room link, sir? Uh, it's up on the uh, it's up on the Facebook. Yeah, uh, you know, facebook.com slash tht podcast slash groups. Oh. No, actually, it's the opposite, sir. It's facebook.com slash groups slash tht podcast. Listen, dyslexia told me I was fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't see the link, dude. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. It's uh here. Hold on. I'll tag you in it. Hey, where'd uh, it go? Shit. <laughs> Did you delete it? No, I don't see shit, dude. You probably deleted it yourself. No, I didn't. I posted it. Here, I mean, I'll, I'll get it back up here. Ah. Give me two seconds. 
This guy's One. fucking up. No, I posted it. That's how everybody's in the fucking chat room. This guy's fucking up, man. Calm yourself down, Shaheen. Well, I'll tag you in it. I am as calm as you can get, sir. Now, I'm going to go on camera so you can see this guy real quick. Check this out. This guy is not leaving me alone. This is a part of the Hot Tag Podcast right here, this guy. Awesome. Hashtag cute pugs. Hashtag cute pugs, yeah. So, <laughs> if you want to see some cute pugs, tune into the YouTube video right now. We've got a bunch of pugs running around here acting reckless. That's funny. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's loving it. Look at him. He's just chilling. What up, dog? What up, dog? What up, dog? Puppy. <laughs> anyway, back to Raw. All Which right. Which segment were we on? You know what? We took a break at a perfect time. We were just about to get into the uh, Legends panel, hosted by Bri Byron Saxton. Almost called him Brian Saxton. Brian Saxton. All right. Brian Saxton. It's actually a better name, probably. Uh, Byron Saxton. And out there we get Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair, Woo! Uh, we also get Hulk Hogan, uh, so we get these three. Um, boy. Hey, boy, oh boy, man, I cannot wait till we finish Raw so I can talk about Hulk Hogan. Really, I, I really can't wait to talk about Hulk Hogan. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Hulk Hogan did you know an what I'm, what I'm referring to? I'm not 100% sure, unless it's uh, where, where, where WrestleMania is going to be next year. No, Chris Jericho's podcast. Did you listen to it? I did. Did you listen with Hogan? I listened to one and two. Yes, I did. Man. Well, I guess we'll get into that afterwards, but man, yeah. that guy's shit. Yeah, let's finish. Oh, shit, man. I mean, can you deny it? The guy's full yeah. of shit, man. No, I can't what deny it. Well, this guy's delusional. He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> the guy's lost his fucking mind, man. Listen, I... Have I, lost his mind? I've, I've learned to think of Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash as... All they're trying to do is entertain. The truth is a distant second from entertaining. But see, that that goes for Kevin Nash. I can't, I can't put Hogan in that same category. Hogan is an egomaniac, man. This guy is just feeding his own fucking ego. That's all, I, dude. He went on the podcast and and talked about how wasn't wasn't he talking about how he offered a Macho Man like a like a fair one and, and Macho Man turned down. The fight? Like I think he was talking about yeah, Macho Man backed down, never never said anything else, but I, I don't know. There was this a guy's line. getting inducted in the Hall of Fame. He's fucking dead. Can't you think of any better stories than to bring up this shit that you probably made up? I can't dude, I can't see Macho Man backing down from this fucking guy, man. Macho Man, he he seemed like a stand up guy. I don't think I think this guy's full of shit. And I, you know, nothing against Hogan, man. I, you know, I somewhat like Hogan. Never had nothing against the guy, but I can't deny the fact that he's full of shit. The guy's a liar. Uh, you got a point. He's talking about, uh -huh. he, you know, he wanted to put Rowdy Piper over. No, you didn't, dude. You wouldn't even put Bret Hart over. You wouldn't. You put, got a point. You wouldn't put Shawn Michaels over at at SummerSlam. That's why he did the whole thing in this in this segment that we're about to get into. Like, this guy's full of shit, man. Well, according to him, this is how he was told to. Do, this is what he was told to do. He was told to win when he was told to win, and lose when he was told to lose. Yeah, and the way he made it seem like, oh, I, I would have loved the job. He actually, though, I think those might have been his exact words. I think it was. I, I, I wouldn't. I understand Vince McMahon's position as as a business owner. Of course, you guys, you know that's 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 the big guy. You know that's that's the guy that's 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 feeding your your family, according to him. You know, since John Cena's the, the one feeding the whole roster now, according to you know rumors by Dave Meltzer, probably full of shit again. But man, I, I, I fucking I just Hulk Hogan. I this guy, man. I just I can't believe it. He's talking about. No, I would put anybody over. No, you wouldn't, man. No, you wouldn't. 
you wouldn't even you would like I said he wouldn't put Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart over if you wouldn't put those guys over why just because they're not bigger than you you know this guy is such a fucking egotistical fucking piece of shit man and you know no uh, it's hard to say no disrespect after the clone piece of shit <laughs> but you know it just came out but damn man I mean this guy just give me a break man. And you know, I, I I can't ever get over that that phone call conversation that was recorded between him and his son. And you know that it's it all stems from that. So that kind of really just formed my which one own opinion on on Hulk Hogan, the one where his son his son got arrested for uh, the whole car crash and all that stuff. What did he? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Saying oh, it was the guy's fate to fucking uh, just a bunch of bullshit, crazy stuff. It was. I, I remember that now. I, I forgot. But yeah, that was... The reason why I say the guy's fucking delusional, man. For a minute, I thought you were confusing him with Dog the Bounty Hunter. No, 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 no. They, they might look similar. It's not hard, it's not hard to do. I, I would understand. Yeah, they, they don't... They kind of look similar, but... <laughs> it's, it's it's the hair. Yeah. No, this this guy's just full of shit, man. And, you know, it's just... I don't, I, I'm surprised he didn't shit on Warrior, you know? You know, I, I thought he was going to when 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 Jericho brought him up, and I kind of thought that's what Jericho wanted. Um, it, it was kind of weird how Jericho brought it up, but but Hogan put him over pretty nice. It was it was actually nice what he said about him. He really didn't say anything shitty at all. Yeah, yeah, he really just kind of put Warrior over as just a just a unique guy, and that's what everyone knew he was anyway. So yeah, but the, but the key point is. That he said he wanted to put Warrior over ultimately because he knew he would benefit from it because you know all you know he would be this sympathetic fucking uh, face you know the baby face that everybody feels bad for so they're gonna cheer him more so ultimately it was really about him again he didn't he didn't put Warrior over to you know help Warrior out he did it because Vince told him and, and it wouldn't help him out yeah I don't know man all in all it just seems like kind of weird that he actually did leave the company I mean he seems like the biggest company man I mean him it's got to be why him and Cena get along they're just fucking tugging the dick man <laughs> same fucking guy reincarnated man same <laughs> shit I I guess man but I mean they're just I don't know just just taking that WWE prick in the butt I don't know yeah. Kamala songs come, come to mind, you know. <laughs> I guess so. Oh God, pushing and pulling. But another thing that I found interesting was, uh, you know, Hulk Hogan. He he said that he wanted to turn heel in in WWF, and you know the whole Hollywood Hogan, the whole NWO thing. That was you know kind of his idea in, in WWF, which is another thing I don't believe. So yeah, this guy's full of shit. And another thing that, that really makes – that proves my point, he actually said that uh, after Warrior won the title from him at, at WrestleMania 6, Warrior came on Raw the next night. Dude, Raw didn't exist. Raw started in 93. Yeah, exactly. WrestleMania 6 was 90. Oh, it was 90? Yes. Huh. Then, yeah, you're right. Yeah, this guy's full of shit. Yeah, Hulk the Warrior was never on Raw until he, he made his, his comeback, like in 95. I think it was 95. I think you're right. Oh, dude. See? Spitting facts, man. I got my shit down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. The guy's the guy full of shit, man. Everybody knows it. Not many people may want to say it. I just kind of ranted for 10 minutes on Hulk Hogan being full of shit. So um, you hate me for it. I don't care. He's that's all right. I'm just glad we got through Raw first. Oh, wait. We didn't. <laughs> That's all right, Shaheen. That's all right. But anyway, let's let's let's, let's get into this little. I, I, I couldn't hold it. I had to let it out. Well, you're good. You're good. You feel better? Absolutely. You do. You feel better. You get. You got it all out. Y'all. Y'all. Y'all yeah. calm now. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, fine. Now that you talk so much shit about Hulk Hogan. You're fired. Oh. <laughs> I gotta join the Kiss My Ass Club. Oh no, I ain't gonna do that one. <laughs> Yeah. Damn. Join the Kiss My Ass Club. I'll tell you what. That's a huge bitch. Ain't it? <laughs> That's Big Show. <laughs> that guy is one huge bitch, man. He was crying like a pussy. <laughs> like a pussy. <laughs> she has music to my ears, man. Every time it's with Big Show, too, he's crying like a pussy. 
We should put that to his music. Well, it's the big. He was crying like a pussy. <laughs> I could do that, you know, but I won't. All right, I won't do it. But um, all right, let's try to get through this fucking show. Let's try. All right, we were uh, talking about this wonderful um, legends panel, which I. If, if, if you expected anything but what they did out there for this Legends panel, I'm sorry, but this is exact, exactly what I expected from these three. Yeah. Uh, Dude, I, I, I really like this. This was, like, one of my favorite parts of the show. Like, it, it was character. It was. And Byron's actually... Really it was. It was. It, it was a great part of the show. Um... Yeah, absolutely. There was a lot of parts you could tell that he kind of freestyled and, and did their own thing, you know? It was off the script. Especially Shawn Michaels. You could tell Shawn Michaels was just having fun out there. and that oh, yeah. He doesn't give a shit at all. Oh, no. He comes out there in his fucking Remington yeah. camo shirt and jacket and boots that look like he's about to go hiking in a river. Yeah, man, he's, he's dressed to kill. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> fucking guy. I love him. I can't help it. I love Sean Mike. He's fucking awesome. Yeah, he needs need to get those eyes fixed, though, man. What happened to those eyes? Ah, too many hits to the head with a steel chair, I guess. Really? Is is that really the reason? N- no, I, I, I was kidding. I was like, that's that's what I thought. No, no, honestly, like that's what I thought. I thought it was something with his head trauma or something. I mean, what else explains it? His, literally, one of his eyes just fucking tilted to the left. I don't know where. It just I don't know. Maybe it was when all those Marines beat his ass in that bar. Oh, when he lost his smile? When he lost his smile. The guy lost his smile and collected fucking money for like five years from his couch? Yeah. That one? Yeah. Huh. Uh, maybe, cool. maybe, maybe that's what happened. That's fucking bad, man. Maybe, maybe he lost his eyesight, not his smile. Dude, I, I hated that. He just lost oh, his man. smile. He lost his smile. God, I, I I cringe. I cringe badly when I hear that promo on how douchey that was to do. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, at the at the time, I, I you know I didn't really read into it because I was obviously way younger. But now looking back at it, it's like ah eh, yeah. Yeah, that was really not a nice thing to do. But I don't know. You know, and, and you know, I, I love how people are. I, so Shawn Michaels did the exact same thing. Basically, Punk did. But we 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 wouldn't have an internet to trash Shawn Michaels back then, so I guess it was totally different, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, so we can still, we we can still call Shawn Michaels the greatest ever because he came back. So yeah, well, they say CM Punk is best, best. So no, I disagree. I would. I don't think he's the yeah. best. I don't think even CM Punk would make my top ten, or maybe even not even top twenty. I don't. Think. Maybe top twenty. I guess top twenty. Top twenty, he'd be in. Yeah, top twenty. But I mean, greatest of all time. I don't know, dude. I don't. I don't feel like sitting here and making the list, but I. I don't know. No, we're not making fucking lists tonight. God damn it. <laughs> now that you said that, you know I'm gonna have to make you make a list now. No, we're not making a fucking list. We have to. Man. We have to. Stand in my ground. Stand in my my, my no list ground. We gotta make this happen now. All right. Uh, anyway, back back to the goddamn show. Yeah. Anyway, they um they're out there. They're talking about the rumble. Who's gonna win? Uh, Shawn Michaels says Bray Wyatt. Hogan says Daniel Bryan. And Flair gets the biggest pop with the name Dean Ambrose. Um, yeah, that was weird, man. I don't think it's weird. I mean, if you look at what I mean, the the, the, the I think it's more weird. Not one of them said Roman Reigns. Well, that means that he's winning. I I don't know, but I think that might be a sign. Yeah, he's one, one of but, them. Uh, dude, you don't you don't find that surprising that Dean Ambrose got a way bigger pop than Daniel Bryan? No, I don't. I think he's been one of the most over guys on the show in the past what six weeks. Yeah, but Daniel Bryan, that whole yes, you, you, have you forgotten about that? But like, literally don't... everybody would participate in the whole, you know, yes, yes, Chan and the yes movement. At least, at least in the arena, anyway. But yeah, I, don't know, I, I was surprised. Look, man, those were fans from Dallas. They weren't the brightest, okay? Oh, wait a, you know, shit on your own fucking state. I live here. I can say that. <laughs> yeah, true. 
So, meanwhile, if you didn't know, next year we get WrestleMania. Are you going? Probably. I mean, it's a year away, so it's over a year away, so I got plenty of time to decide. Dude, so, honestly, if, if if my mom is down there, I might I might come. I've never been to a pay per view or a WrestleMania, so this would be like a a big first. So yeah, there you go, man. Definitely look into going. Um, it's literally it's I mean it's forty minutes from my house, so nice. I mean, it'll take. Yeah, I actually, I, I actually want to come up there, man. That that would be fucking nice. That'd be cool. That'd Let's be all. Awesome. Podcast live from WrestleMania. Live from WrestleMania. There you go, man. Live from WrestleMania. Here we go. Honestly, the main reason I want to come to Texas is just to get some nice barbecue. Fuck WrestleMania. I just want to eat. You just want to eat? I just want to eat. I don't know. There's only there. There are a couple good barbecue places here, though. Whoa. Whoa. You said there's only that. That can't be a good sign, man. I thought Texas and barbecue. That was a They've all become a lot of chains, dude. Dickies has taken over. Really? It's not like mom and dad shops. It's just like fucking chain. If you go into the small, like, um, like I got some land out in, with, with a house out in Emory, which is a kind of a smaller town, there's a lot of mom and pops. There's no chains out there. I mean, there's not even a McDonald's. The biggest chain out there is a Sonic. Yeah. So, you know, you go out there, but... Uh, no, fucking Dickie's Barbecue is taking over this place, man. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. It's a it's a barbecue chain. Well, I, I can tell that. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not the worst, but it's not. I mean, we got a little place across the street from us, but it costs like six bucks whenever if if I go there to eat with the family. Yeah. yeah. So it's cheaper to go to friggin' Dickie's. Man, we got no barbecue spots here. I figured, well, now y'all got all fucking, y'all got cheesesteaks everywhere. Yeah, true. I, I, would, I would take a cheesesteak over barbecue. No. Uh, what? I would, personally. What? You are out of your mind. Oh, dude, I can get barbecue anywhere. I fucking love me some, I love a damn good cheesesteak. Oh, man, cheesesteaks are overrated. Maybe because maybe I live in, you know, well, I don't <laughs> technically live in Philly and I'm doing air quotes because I live in the suburbs. But when I used to live in Philly, man, I got fucking tired of cheesesteaks, man. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, we got one place here that is a place from Philly, and they do cheesesteaks. God, these guys are dicks. They're really from Philly. Is it Geno's? <laughs> no. Um, no, it's not a chain. It's just a couple of guys. Oh, I thought I thought you were saying it was like a chain. No, there's just two guys that are out here that start a little che- a little cheesesteak shop, and they really are douchebags, though. <laughs> Are they yeah. doing well as far as business? They do pretty good. They're on a they're they're in a good location. They're right off of a main road. Do cheese steaks are like the easiest thing to sell? Uh, it's just cheese and steak. Exactly. It takes nothing. And when you go to Philly, they don't even put they don't even put any condiments on there for you. They just like put it in some grimy ass little corner where there's like a fucking huddle of dudes just like fighting over you know <laughs> fucking hot peppers and ketchup, and you have to. Put it on there yourself, so it really just takes them no time, and they charge you like ten bucks just for fucking piece of bread and meat and cheese. I don't put nothing on it, man. I just eat it. Oh man, you gotta you gotta hook it up, bro. Oh no, I just eat that. You shit. need the hot peppers on the side, man. You gotta put some mayo and some ketchup in there. Oh, I can't do mayo. Oh, you're insane. You you need mayo in a cheesesteak, man. I can't have mayo. It, man, they won't even serve it to you unless you get mayo. Fuck them, motherfuckers, then. I'll go somewhere else. I'll go get a pizza. Yeah, cheese Whiz, man. You guys get Cheese Whiz up there? They do have them with, with Cheese Whiz, yeah. yeah. Cheese Whiz is good. Yeah, they got them. Up. Yeah, you, you you can get it with Cheese Whiz there. Yeah. It's good Shut shit. Up. Well, I guess back to Raw. <laughs> shit. God damn, we're ADD tonight. I um, know, man. Jesus, we are like fucking... We haven't even got to a big show coming out yet. Man. And interrupting this shit. And this is a good show. Why are we like all over the place? Yeah, you know? this is actually like a good episode of Raw that we're talking about. Usually, like we're not we used to because it's a shitty show. Yeah, don't worry. The next match will take like the, the the not the next match, but the one after that. Well, trust me, it's it's gonna start going quick after we get through this. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. 
Oh, yeah. It's going to get much, 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 much quicker. Um, yeah, Big Show comes out and starts talking shit to all the legends, and I cannot believe it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Body in the chat room said that my approach to cheesesteak is the same as his is to pussy. Don't put nothing on it. Just eat it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Anyway. There's nothing wrong with eating pussy, though, man. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> let's, not do, let's not even get off track. I, well, shit, man. Don't bring it up then, man. Shit, I was about yeah, to eat pussy for the next 25 minutes. I had to let you know what I was laughing at. <laughs> that was funny. Put it up, did you put a link to the chat on uh, Facebook? Yeah, I, I tagged you in it. You should have it. So, um, uh, Big Show comes down, starts talking shit to all the fucking legends, and I could not believe Flair actually got into some physical stuff. Now, yeah, I can't believe that either. But you, was I the only one that thought Flair was was drunk as hell? I was hoping he was. I think he was drunk as hell, dude. I hope so. If you, because I was watching him, well, I was watching him closely, right? Because I just had a feeling he was drunk. I just wanted to see if he actually is. And you can tell when someone is drunk by the way they're speaking. Pay attention to the way he was speaking in the beginning. He was, that, that guy was he was zooted. Well, good for him. That's how Flair should be. Yeah. That's how he should be. He should be coming out there hammered as hell. I'm good with it. I'm down with it. Flair wants to drink, let him drink. I don't give a shit, man. Give him a lot of coke. Anything that gets gets me entertainment, I don't give a shit, dude. Ah, I'm fine. They're yeah. like, they, they chose the wrestling business, man. That's what it is. Steroids, cocaine, and, and booze. <laughs> cocaine. That's what it is. Like, well, nowadays, it's like, it's, it's like, you know, it's fucking Xbox One and comic books and root beer and fucking Mountain Dew and, you know, all that good shit. But. Fuck. <laughs> I like how you... Cocaine, fucking Gucci Mane comes in for a minute. Just, just for the cocaine. <laughs> it comes in for the cocaine. It goes in for the cocaine. You know what I noticed? Mountain Dew's actually been like promoting advertising raw for for the longest time ever. Dude, they were doing that shit in like '93. Yeah. Oh my god. Always gotta have the Mountain Dew. Gotta gotta advertise to the to the wrestling the wrestling fans. Yeah, Mountain Dew uh, tends to go flat too quickly. I don't. I'm not a big fan. I like the taste, but it just it, it, the soda goes flat too too fast. I'm not much of a Mountain Dew guy. Yeah, I mean I'll drink it, but it's just uh... more of a Coors Light guy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, you know I got one. I I know you do. Actually, I got two. I got two twenty four ounces. So really, I have four. Are you double fisting? Well, no, I'm not both open. Jeez. Yeah, well, we're doing a lot of pauses tonight. Are we? Yeah. Are you double fisting the beer? Damn, dude. I don't want to double fist my beer ever again. <laughs> Probably should. Never going to do that ever again. So, God damn it! can we get through this fucking thing? Yeah, so, I got it. <laughs> you double fist. I got I to gotta mention this. It just reminded me. I had a buddy of mine, Josh, and... uh. July 4th, dude, this guy drank like 30-some beers, like close to 40. This guy was double-fisting it all night. End of the night, this guy blacked out. We ended up wrestling, and I uh, ended up breaking my leg, and I was so drunk I didn't realize it until the next day. Fucked up is that. That is kind of fucked up. That's when you know you've had a good fucking night. Dude, I walked on it the whole night, and I had no idea it was broken. I woke up the next day, it was a fucking room full of people, and I looked at my fucking ankle, and that shit was swollen and black and blue. Ooh, yeah, and we actually still have the footage. I might, I might, I might. If I can get my hands on it, I'll upload that. That is pretty fun. Nice. Uh, you can watch a uh, sixteen-year-old Shaheen break his ankle live wrestling. Drunk? Not, not like like the fake wrestling. Well, I mean that's what we started out in. But you know, when you're drunk, you get kind of aggressive. So it kind of yeah. just ended up in like a real fight. Yeah, if someone gets that one shot in. Yeah, you know, it's in, yeah, that's what happens. I know somewhere I've got some video of me DDT and my old roommate. There you go, man. Throwback Thursday, man. Let's make it happen. 
I'll find it. Matter of fact, I know where it is. I just would have to transfer it from VHS to DVD. Yeah. I've got a re- I've got a recorder. There you go, man. There I go. So. After all, goddamn it. Goddamn. Um, big show comes down. We were on that already. Ric Flair starts giving him these weirdest little punches. Ric Flair reminded me of the cowardly lion from Wizard of Oz. No, I love it, man. I love his punches. This is like the old man just punching this fucking giant. It's just, hilarious. I, I, just, I, I just thought he was going to sit there and go, <laughs> <laughs> put him up, put him up. I, I don't know, man. I like it. Was, it was kind of silly, but I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, woo! Yeah, Flair goes against the ropes to try to hit Big Show again. Big Show, he runs right into one of Big Show's punch. Roman Reigns comes down and makes the save. Well, it took him about like 15 minutes to get down. <laughs> really had to get through the crowd of women. Oh. And being yeah. And and dudes, you know. Yeah, and gay guys trying to... Touch yeah. my girlfriend, man! Touch my girlfriend! Believe that. <laughs> You know wrestling fans, they get a hard on for, for Roman Reigns, but I don't care what anybody says. There's a lot of dudes out there into this guy. Oh, I, know. I don't care much for the guy, to be honest. But we Goddamn are. wrestling fans. Goddamn you people, you freaks. I don't even know how we have any any listeners. I, I find myself bashing wrestling fans like half the show. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well. You guys, the Royal Rumble... You'll be a rumble, so you're you're a wrestling fan too. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about the weird ones, you know, like the ones that the, the still real to me. Damn it, that's that's the ones I'm talking to. Oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I'm talking to those people, not not like the ones like you know the ones in our chat room and the listeners. We're cool. I'm talking about the weird ones, you know. I know who you're talking about. The crazy CM Punk fans that won't leave the guy the fuck alone. Those crazy ones. The ones that are like, I bought your fucking house, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Though, perfect example. Prime, those people. Those are, that's the wrestling fans that I'm targeting right there. Those okay. people. The ones that chant CM Punk and AJ Lee. Those people. Ugh, poor they feel like they're cool because they know they're like married. Like, who gives a fuck, dude? Every it's the internet days. We know this. Yet again, another example of, of internet space being wasted on bullshit news and. Fucking CM Punk and all this bullshit. <laughs> Save the internet space. Recycle the internet space, man. Come on. There you go. Dicks. There you go. Recycle the internet. That's what I like. Um. So we go to the next. The finally, we're at match number two. Well, hold on one second. <laughs> what I found interesting. <laughs> back to this segment again. What I found interesting was. Big Show saying that these guys are has-beens and they're washed up. Are you fucking kidding me? What are you? Yeah. What the... F- who wrote this? Do they know this guy's been around for 20 years? Literally? I'm not... Like, literally, 20 years. Exactly. I don't know, man. Yeah, I guess they don't. Because this guy's just as washed up as, you know, almost any of those guys. Not as much, but, you know, he's, he's, he's up there. Yeah, he's definitely up there. So, yeah, I guess we can move on to the next one. But I really like this, man. I like, I like, I actually enjoyed Big Show in it. I just thought, go in and call him as That was weird. It's like, dude, you're in the same era. It's kind of weird you saying that. But uh, I enjoyed it. I liked him getting into a physical altercation with uh, Ric Flair. Woo! That was awesome. Um... Hogan trying to act like a tough guy, that was that was pretty cool, and Shawn Michaels acting like a pussy. You know, he was crying like a pussy right behind Hogan. I thought that was funny. Yeah, Michaels backing down was funny, yeah. but he, he did it funny as hell. Yeah, he, he did the same thing with, like, Diesel back in the day, you know? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Because uh, Shawn Michaels is entertaining, man. I don't care what anybody says. You know, I, I badmouth him from time to time. That guy is pure charisma. You know, that guy is entertainment, dude. He, to be a cheesy hack, I'll say he oozes charisma. There, there you go. Pause on that, too. Well, he, he does. Anything out of a guy. Hey. 
calm down now. I'm I'm reaching now. I'm just I'm just reaching to pause anything now. Now you are. Well, let's do this. Let's get into the uh, Dean Ambrose and Bad News Barrett match. I have to admit, I missed a lot of this match. Um, Good, because I missed the whole thing. So. All right. Well, my kids were out, and they just came back. I missed it. I know Ambrose won, and that's all I know. Yeah, I missed this whole thing. I figured it probably okay. be a miserable match. No, that's fine. And then I turned. I came back, and um, the New Day was on. New Day? Yep. Uh, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. Man, it's not, it's not heavy coke over there, man. It's not. It's not good to do cocaine live on the podcast. I'm sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> We're just kidding, people. Don't. <laughs> I may be smoking weed, but I ain't doing no coke. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I, I like. I really like the Cesaro and, and and Tyson Kidd tag team, but I hate the fact that they're jobbing out to literally every tag team that they faced. So, yeah, that's that's no fun. But uh, yeah, New Day they suck. They're as garbage as you can get. <laughs> so, I mean, this is probably another one of those cases where this is probably the only time I'll I'll give a Cesaro match that the cricket sound. You know, I mean, I just don't give a shit. Mm. What? Uh, repeat that for me. I said th- this is probably one of the only times that I would give a uh, Cesaro match the cricket sound bite. I just I, I don't care for this, dude. It's, and, it's and because of the new day, it's not because of Cesaro. It's just new day. I don't care about. Like, it's just, and I mean, this, this is this is what I noticed. The new day was coming down to the ring trying to explain their gimmick to the crowd. Well, I actually like them. I think I think they need to elaborate more on what they are because we really don't know what they are. But I mean, they they need to explain their gimmick because we don't know what their gimmick is. That's my point. You shouldn't have to explain it. But I mean, they, I don't even think they had an idea of what where the gimmick was going until like literally now, and that's because they they threw them out there. They got booed, and they just wanted to get a get a feel of of. You know what the crowd reaction was going to be like, and clearly now they have to turn them heel because they they're getting fucking booed. Nobody gives a shit. And you can kind of, I mean, they kind of hinted at, at them turning heel at, at some point because they said, you know, we always have to smile because if we don't smile, the whole roster is going to be in the hospital. So I mean, that's that's a healer's thing to say. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just think you shouldn't have to explain your gimmick. If you have to explain your, I mean, it's 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 like it's like explaining a joke. It's probably not going to be funny when you're explaining it to someone. Right. Right. You shouldn't have to explain your gimmick. No. Get your elbow. Yeah, I I agree, but um, I just, I mean, I'd I'd rather have them do this than just come out to to fucking regular entrance music. Because that would be even worse. You don't yeah. think so? I mean, just imagine New Day just coming out, just just to a regular entrance and just doing nothing. That would they would just be straight jobbers. I mean, they, they pretty much are. Yeah. I was about to say, well, yeah, they're kind of alright. <laughs> I mean, they won last night. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't happy about it, but they did. So. But I'll, I'll tell you what, though, man. Big E needs to stop with that preacher voice. That that is. Terrible. That didn't need to stop. I mean, that, the other two, that's whatever. I mean, it's corny. It's stupid. I agree. Probably one of the, the you know, worst gimmicks I've seen in the last 10 years, aside from, like, the, you know, Matadors and all that bullshit. But, I mean, dude, the Big E voice, is that really necessary? I mean, do you have to really make this guy look like a fucking moron when he comes out? Especially on, on like, Martin Luther King Day. This guy's coming out fucking... Doing the black preacher voice, like come on, man. I know, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know what they're gonna do with these people. I mean, they all three have the talent, but I don't know. I just think they kind of they. I, I don't know. I don't know. They're horrible as a team, in my opinion. Yeah, they they don't really complement each other at all. It's just. No, it was just hey, let's put these three black guys together. Yeah, yeah, just just 
collect all the black guys on the roster and put them together in a group and have them do the stereotypical whatever gimmick this is. Black creature. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 mean, I think they should um, just, just, just throw our truth in there, too. I think they should just go back to NXT. <laughs> maybe, maybe they should just do that. Yeah, just do that. Just, just you know, restart. Bring back JTG. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, like like you said, the new day one. Um, hey, and- I, I am. I apologize for interrupting you. Breaking news: dirt sheets. I have to say this. Go for it. Our truth is now in the Royal Rumble. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Waste of fucking internet space right here. Oh, my God. This doesn't need, this doesn't need news. This isn't newsworthy, man. What the fuck? Our, our truth in the rumble. Our truth. Our truth. I guess they're, they're making a big deal because he got a new entrance. Theme. I mean, it's not even new. It's just new lyrics, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. So, breaking news. Booker is a dumbass. I love Booker T, man. I'm liking him on commentary. And stand him on commentary. Half the time I just sit there and go, huh? Dude, I'm liking it. It's it's better than Lawler. I can't do it. Lawler was like a fucking echo to, to Michael Cole. I know. But I, I'd rather not. I mean, there's so many other guys they've got. You know, put 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 Alex Riley there for all I care. Oh no, he's he seems like a douchebag. I don't. <clears throat> Honestly, I mean, I would I would like to see somebody like Corey Graves up there, but that would never happen. They're not gonna put Michael Cole and, and Corey Graves next to each other. That's not happening. Yeah, Graves do. Yeah, I just I just want to see like a new breed, man. Like new school shit. We don't need guys and and fucking, you know, just just the stereotypical commentator. For for WWE, you know, white guy with with suit on, with no facial hair, no tattoos. You know, it's just it's too old school, man. It's fucking 2015. Yeah. Move on, man. Vince, you you need to move on, dude. Mm-hmm. I know your dad did wrestling, and you want to do fucking sports entertainment. Well, shit. Move on with the times, dude. Fucking entertain me already. Fucking entertain us already, dude. I am not sports entertained. I was last night, but that's you know mainly because of Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash and all of them, not because of your current products. So please, sports entertain me, bastard. Yeah, I agree. But since you're talking about the um the Shawn Michaels and all those guys, we did see another segment last night with a few tag teams, and it started off with. The N-W-O. N-W-O. And I really wish Scott Hall would color that hair. I really wish they would fade to black. Yeah. Like, you know how they do the grayscale thing? Yeah. I guess not fade to black, fade to gray. Yeah, I got you. I don't know. I just didn't give it that N-W-O feel. But uh, I definitely enjoyed it, man. I fucking love these guys. Good stuff. I thought it was a great, great little thing. Um, and then the Ascension comes down, starts talking shit. And I got to admit, when JBL got up and said he made a call, I marked out like a little bitch. Yeah, I, I actually like that. I love seeing I, the NBA. Yeah, I typically don't like JBL, but I can't deny that I, I was a big fan of the APA. Oh, I don't like JBL. I never liked JBL, but APA was badass. Oh yeah, definitely. It was it was the exact opposite of what he stands for today. It's like mm-hmm. crazy. This guy was just like a crazy redneck at bars, getting in bar fights, and now he's a fucking businessman, writing business books and shit. Yeah, I prefer bar fighting JBL myself. Right, exactly. <laughs> I want to be sports yeah. entertainment, man. I don't want business fucking business techniques and, and tips and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, this, I want that. I'll sign up for a class. I don't, you know. Yeah, but th- this was awesome. New Age Outlaws come out, and, uh, you know, they start beating up the Ascension. Um, and now we get the uh, New Age Outlaws against the Ascension at Royal Rumble. Yeah, so uh, I'm guessing the Ascension is going to win, which would make sense, I guess. 
Um, otherwise, this is really bad for the Ascension because oh. what do we gain out of this? Supposedly, they're going to work like a like a big program with these guys for like a few months. Like up to WrestleMania? I don't know, but I read that there's going to be a big program with these two. Well, I can I can see them doing it at the fast lane again, but I mean WrestleMania, dude. I'm thinking it's going to be Dudley's in Ascension. Dudley's put over the Ascension. I mean, the old school against new school. These guys, clearly their whole, you know, thing right now is just shitting on the old school guys to so bring out new tag teams, you know? And have them face the old ones and have the old ones put them over. I, I mean, that would make sense. I don't really like these guys that much, but, I mean... Well, I guess we'll see what happens at the Rumble. See if the Dudleys do come out. They are one of the rumored, and I've said rumored, Yeah. Tag- Tag, one of the rumored uh, tag teams to come out, so I guess we'll see. Yeah, I, I, would, I would mark out for that, man. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. They got a huge pop when they came out to House of Hardcore. Oh, I would yeah. doubt it. Yeah, they got a huge pop. That's a huge pop. <laughs> I was just thinking of this. That's a huge pop. <laughs> That's a huge pop. I'm gonna have to make that one too, I guess. <laughs> nah. All right, I got a couple to make. All right, that that'll be fine. Um, now they come up and uh, they do this thing where the they they show the WWE app vote for John. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we don't have to do it. And and then well, you know what? Forget all this. Um, no, oh, that's bullshit, man. We don't need to talk. We don't need to recap John Cena's app votes. No. Uh, the next match, Paige and Natalia against Summer Rae and Alicia Fox. Yeah, I didn't really care for this other than uh, Paige's ass. I definitely like her assets. Yep. I do too. Paige looks good out there. Um, and I and uh, say what you want, but I think Natalia's not bad myself, but I think she's actually stepped it up, man. I think she's she's. I, I guess the makeup is is you know. That's and she's got a body, dude. She's ripped. She's got got some ass on her. You're like you're into like the the ripped females, huh? For some reason. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't want like a muscular chick next to me, man. Well, Natty's not too muscular. I, no, 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 no. I'm not into the bodybuilder chicks. I'm into the fitness type chicks. Yeah. The bodybuilder chicks scare the shit out of me. I'm a little guy. They can crush my ass. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be into that. Yeah, some dude oh. walking down the street, some guy yell. That's a huge bitch. I know, dude. Let me go. <laughs> oh shit! God damn. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> God damn. God damn. I know I'm good at the soundboard. What can I say? <laughs> but uh, what what match were we on? Uh, right after oh, the. Um, actually, hold on one second. This is this is the part where Booker T uh. Kind of shit on John Cena. Did he? Yeah, he did. Cause uh, John Cena started smiling. <laughs> he was like, I don't, I don't know what he's smiling about. He ain't got nothing to be smiling about. He's facing three people tonight. I have no idea what he's smiling about. Oh. But the way he said it was like, you know, he's like, I don't, know, I don't know why the fuck this guy's smiling. I mean, sell this shit. Why are you smiling? You know, it wasn't like it was part of the script where he was like, you know, it seemed like he meant that. Like, why the fuck are you smiling, dude? Just sell it, please. Might be, but I mean, hell, you you saw the week before he said that John Cena, with having limited ability and skills. Yeah, I mean, tonight he. I mean, not tonight. Last night he also said John Cena is uh, probably the greatest of all time. Literally, that's what he said. So I mean, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, he's all over the place. Uh, greatest what? I didn't hear you. He said he was the greatest of all time. Oh. Nice. Well, you know, John Cena, I, b- by the way, Shaheen, I got this drop just for you. The champ is here! Oh, my God. That is poison. You have now poisoned the podcast. Oh, I'm keeping that, too. <laughs> when you start getting calm and quiet, I'm just going to... Oh, my play. God. I, dude, I, if this guy wins the Rumble, please, please do not start next week's show with that shit, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm probably just going to stop the broadcast and just take it, take it down. <laughs> That's it. Fuck it. We're going home. Uh, my plan totally worked. I'm surprised the chat room isn't fucking outing me right now. 
All right. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> hey, what is that? They're, they're saying you wanted to bone She-Hulk, man. Get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. China had some good-looking days. China also had damn near a, a small dick. That's – okay, this was before that. <laughs> her, her big clit slash small dick has always been there. I know. Well <laughs> – there's no before that. That's been there since birth. Playboy sir. fucking airbrushed that shit out. Well, that's because it's Playboy. They, they I know. She they looked good in Playboy. Like, 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 she looked good in Playboy. I trust me. I, I, I got it. I, I like that Playboy. But Dude, that's a lot of airbrushing. That's not. That's not the China that you would see in, in real life. Well, I know. I mean, you know. Hey, I, I, I. The, see, body just brought up Megan Avalon. She was pretty hot. Yeah, there you go. Big clit is a side effect of roid use. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, shit. Hormones, man. Look at her. Fucking like Xbox was chewing that shit. Oh, like a fucking beaver, man. <laughs> that is disgusting. He was. Jesus Christ. Why did you. Oh, mental image. Why? Disgusting. <laughs> oh, speaking of Xbox, man, this was the funniest. Uh, speaking of another mental image that I just. Have it stored away somewhere in my memory. Xbox was outside and he was doing the one, two, three gimmick, right? At the Legends of uh, Legends of the Ring. Hold on, damn it! What happened? Okay, just wait a minute. You locked up. I missed that whole thing. Please start over. All right. Well, speaking of Xbox, there we go. Was at Legends of the Ring. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I believe about a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. And he was doing the whole one, two, three gimmick. One two three kid gimmick. So he actually he was dressed as a one two three kid. He showed up like that, right? Okay. Now just imagine this, right? I pull up and I just I pull up to New Jersey. I'm coming from Philadelphia, and of course I've uh, self medicated, so I'm, I'm I'm laughing my ass off as it is because I see New Jack pull up next to me, right? And and he parks next to me, and <laughs> I see New Jack walk outside with a fat white chick. And like a grown ass kid with him, which is clearly her kid. It was like the most awkward thing ever because he's like putting himself over. Like we were walking behind him, so we were listening to their like conversation. So <laughs> he's just like putting himself over, and this kid is like feeling so fucking awkward because you could tell the kid like doesn't give a shit about wrestling, and his mom is just like a mark for a fucking wrestler. She's probably just a rat. And the kid. He was, like, dragged into this fucking convention. And I, did, I was just watching the kid. Like, he was having the worst time of his life. He hated it. But uh, after this, we walk in and we see the one, two, three kid fucking dressed as the one, two, three kid smoking cigarettes outside, drunk as fuck. Just imagine the one – this is, like – it's, like, out of a movie, you know? So that's, that's why I love these conventions. Man. I love just going for these fucking crazy wrestlers and the crazy shit they do. That would be awesome. I'd love to hang out with X-Pac all drunk. Fucked up. Yeah, actually, I got to hang out with uh, Jimmy Snooker for uh, almost like a half hour. Good guy. Yeah. And, uh, he came up and he, he offered uh, I didn't even ask for his autograph. Shit, he just gave me one. I was like, well, I don't know. He probably, know. Yeah. He probably, probably smoked some weed. What was that? He probably would have smoked some weed, snorted a line, something. Yeah, they, well, I smoked a cigarette outside with him. Nice. But I had some talks about uh, Eddie Gilbert with him. Random conversation, but I don't know why. But uh, we talked about Eddie Geller for a while. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, why not? Why good, not? Good, good guy, man. His feet are fucked up. Well, he never wore shoes in the ring. Yeah, his feet are fucked up. Ugh. Looks like somebody took a fucking jackhammer and just, just fucking went to town on his feet. Hammer toes. Yeah. Yeah. That's nasty. It is nasty, man. Nasty. <clears throat> Definitely nasty. I mean, he needs to stop that. Put some shoes on, dude. Shoes, motherfucker. By the way, doesn't he have a... Didn't they reopen his case? I think they were trying to. Um, not 100% sure what happened with that. Yeah. But I know they were trying to. Um, I mean, he's too old, man. Just fuck it. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I, I know they were trying to, but... But it is really weird, like, having a conversation with, like, a potential fucking murderer, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I would oh, definitely no. say it is. Because I didn't, I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind, like, until days later, 
And I was just like, damn, I I may have had a conversation with a fucking murderer slash wrestler that got away with it. Eh. Might not be the first time. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> you never know. Shit, Scott Hall. Didn't he kill somebody? Uh, his was... Um... Well, it wasn't murder. It was a like self defense. But... It was ruled as self defense. It was when he was a bouncer, and yeah, he did. It, I think he actually shot somebody in the head. And don't you think a lot of his demons stem from that? Because like you know, like the whole psychological thing behind this. I just I don't know. That. Probably need to see a neurologist. Yeah, if you watch that, um, what was it? Uh, three sixty, I think they call it. I don't know. On ESPN, I'm, I'm. Forgive me if I got the name wrong. I'm not an ESPN guy, so uh, I probably did mess it up. But if you watch that, that's where a lot of people are stemming all his problems from. Is that having to kind of you know suppress that and keep that locked away? But yeah, that's where a lot of people are saying his problems came from. Right there and then. Was, yeah, I, 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 should I believe him? Man? I do too. I could definitely believe that. That could definitely wear hard on somebody. Yeah, I knew. Uh... I don't want to mention any names, but uh, somebody that uh, accidentally hit somebody and, and ran them over, and that that fucked them up for for years and years. Became an alcoholic, and that was you know that was manslaughter. That was by accident. But, yeah, uh, yeah, just I don't know. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it definitely fucking with your head for a very long time. But I I agree with you. Camel toes are better than hammer toes. Yeah, Bud's definitely right there, man. I, I'm, I'm definitely agreeing there. Now, you see, we're, we're looking at pictures of hot chick. You tell me that Megan Avalon isn't a hot, hot, hot chick. Uh, China's camel toe would probably be like a moose toe. Tell me you wouldn't. You know you would. Who, Av Megan Avalon? Yep. I would, but her tits look disgusting. Oh, those are beautiful. Are you kidding me, man? Are you fucking kidding me? No. What? Dude. <laughs> her nipples are white, and her implants are like the worst implants I've ever seen. That right one looks like it's uh, gotten squeezed weird. They're fighting each other. They're going the opposite ways. And her, you can see her, clearly you can see her fucking scars from the implants. It's terrible, man. I mean, her face is fine, and uh, the rest is fine. Just the tits are terrible. Maybe she's gotten them fixed since that picture. I hope so, man, because they yeah. need a refund. There you <laughs> Speaking of tits, uh, didn't uh, Ava Marie's like titties explode? She had an implant break. <coughs> it was leaking. Yeah. It was leaking. Was it leaking? I mean, I, th I thought I, where I, uh, the article I read, she had like the old silicone ones. They don't leak. She, she had the silicone ones. Well, she had had them done like 10 years ago. Yeah. Which means she was like 18, 19 when she got them fuckers done. Man, I, I wonder how many guys she had to sleep with uh, for that. I don't know, but damn. she's always She must have always been that fucking hot, but yeah, hers was leaking, so she's going to get it fixed, and it looks to me like she got bigger ones, too. Uh, At a girl. Again, I, I don't... Care for a? She's a good egg, that one. Yeah, see, man, this girl's huge, man. That that Megan Avalon girl, she looks huge in that second picture. She's she's a big girl, dude. She's jacked. No, I mean just like tall wise as well, like height. Might be tall. She looks huge, dude. She looks like she's fucking like six eight. I don't know about that. I mean, she's not. Well, exaggerating, but you know. She's not. What's her name? Aloisa, Lindsay Hayward, or anything. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah, Isis the Amazon. That was her name. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, what were we on? Now, Isis the Amazon. That's a huge bitch. It is. <laughs> so, we were on. You want to get back to Raw is what you're telling me? <clears throat> I suppose. Rusev, R-Truth. Um, yeah. It happened. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next match. Usos. Rusev won. Ru I mean, it's a squash. You know. 
kind of. I'm sorry, I'm <coughs> coughing, but this fucking weather's got my allergies kicking. Um, yeah, Rusev won, submitted him to the accolade. He never, t- he, he passed out. Um, and then we get to the next match: Usos and Miz and Mizdow. Um, no, actually, it was a one-on-one, dude. Usos. It was Jay Uso. It was. it was Jay Uso. They've got this wrong. Uh, they, you're right. It was. It was uh, the Miz versus Jay Uso. Look at these fucking dirt sheets. I know. This is this is up rocks too. <clears throat> Man, get your shit together. You're not really a dirt sheet. Yeah, I just I just assumed that you were probably on one of those dirt sheets. Unreliable dirt sheets. Yeah, this is like, well, this is, I guess, a dirt sheet, but it's a dirt sheet for a lot more than just uh, wrestling. So, yeah, you were right. Um, crowd was super hot for Mizdow here. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty much had its course, though. I think so, too. Uh, I think you're right. I think you might have posted something about that on the Facebook last night. Wasn't it you? No, I was. it was in the chat room. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's it's taken its time, but it looks like they're teasing the breakup. So I would give it another what, probably two months at the most. No, dude. They're. I mean, let's see. Hold. I mean, it's it's going to be a WrestleMania match. Uh, I, I see it starting at the Rumble. I think someone in the chat room said, and I completely agreed. I actually have I thought this was going to happen anyway. That one of them is going to throw one of the uh, Miz Dow is going to throw Miz out. Is what you know, I. I said that. You did. Yeah. Well, then elaborate. Well, yeah. I mean, as you can, like last night we saw, um, you know, when Miz came out and he said he has he has twice the opportunity to win the Rumble. Mm-hmm. Clearly, you saw, you know, Miz down in the back. He had the questionable face, like, you know, what the hell are you talking about? Uh huh. So I mean, that you know, it's kind of foreshadowing that there's going to be some kind of trouble at the Rumble. One's going to throw the other guy out. Most likely, it's probably going to be Miz throwing him out. So he's probably going to not, you know, <laughs> not going to like that. Yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be Miz, Miz Dow throwing out Miz. Yeah, either way. I mean, you know. But I, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, actually, I would I would rather have Miz Dow throw him out because I would get a huge pop. Which is where I think the, that they're trying to go. I think, listen, you got to be blind not to be able to look up and see that Miz is not the one that's over. It's Miz Dow who's over. Uh, right. I'm sure they're also thinking in the back of their mind, is it because he's with Miz, is it over, or will he be over on his own? I think he will be, and I think he was when he was out there. It's just Damian Sandow. So, mm, uh, no, nah, he wasn't over like this, though. He was getting over. They, they, he was getting there. He was uh, there. They, I really, really thought he was going to be their next big push. You see, the bad thing about this gimmick is that he, he can only be pretty much like a com- comedy gimmick now. No. Unless, unless people forget about it. No, but he could, <laughs> he could still be a kind of heel comedy. I think he could pull that off. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Comedy, though. Yeah, but it's gonna be hard to kind of step out of that, that category. Maybe he can. I mean, you, uh, as we say a lot on this show, time will tell. So. Yeah. Time will tell, my friend. Time will tell. Man, I'm just gonna be shitting on the dirt sheets tonight. They're reporting some really stupid stuff. I'm not even looking. Dude, this is, this is ridiculous. It said there is a very small chance that Rey Mysterio appears in the 30-man Royal Rumble main event on Sunday. Anything is possible, but we likely won't know anything on Rey's status for a few more months. Keyword, few more months. Dickhead, the, the fucking Rumble is this weekend. Few more months? Who gives a shit out? What, what kind of news is this? I don't know. The Rumble is Sunday, so if they're going to wait a few more months, it's a problem. We, we likely won't know anything for a few more months. Okay, so we'll just report back in a few more months and don't waste internet space, dickhead. I love how they say, we're not going to know anything for a few months, but we're going to go ahead and report it now. Yeah. Uh, I just <laughs> See what I mean by, by waste of internet space, if there is such thing? which I mean, I guess there is. but I'm right there with you, Shaheen. Waste of space. Waste of space. So, well, 
finally, we can get to... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Yes, sir. John Cena. Pooh. And John Cena with, again, oh. Seth Rollins, Kane, and Big Show. Did you see him come out? Oh, my God. I'll never give up. Oh, no, please do. Please. <laughs> please do. As soon as he came out and he started doing that, I'll never give up. I'm more motivated than ever. I was like, oh, God, man. That means he's going to be here for another 10 years. Please. Stop. Just leave, man. Please, please. I'm begging you. Leave. Uh, the champ is here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. The wrestling gods are begging you. Just retire. Go bang your wife, man. Make some kids. Just go. Oh, please. He ain't getting married and he ain't having kids. Yeah, because he's on the road all the damn time. Take some time off. Go home, man. Please. You've had your run. It's been like 12 years, man. It's, it's enough. I could see it was Nikki setting him up. <laughs> like, like, Nikki is up in her room and she's just up there with pins poking condoms. Oh, man. She should. I hope she does. <laughs> Whistling while doing it. Oh, man. She, she probably would. She, she looks like one of those psycho chicks. Just whistling Cena's theme. Oh, dude, I can't, I can't wait to do that at the Rumble. That John Cena sucks. That's gonna be the, that's gonna be my moment of the night. That's awesome. Just fuck boy Cena come out and me. Fuck boy Cena. Singing John Cena sucks. That's what I paid my money for to come and do this dickhead. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck boy Cena. I love it. <laughs> John Cena. Oh, so, uh, anyway, this was actually a pretty good match. Wrestler, I mean, no offense to anybody named John, but any wrestler that has a name that, that starts out just John, it just, you can't, can't be one of the greats. It's too, it's too regular, man. It's just so fucking plain. <sighs> Let's think about it. You're named after what a prostitute calls her customer. I don't know. You're a John. You're named after a toy. Is there any other wrestlers? That are named John. I gotta go to the John. <laughs> I got. I gotta go to the John. I gotta take a Cena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I gotta are take. There a, are there any other John Johns that are out there wrestlers? I know John. I know John Silver, like the indie wrestler. I'm talking about like Big John Stud. Yeah, but I mean no. But I mean I I I just mean like. Like John Cena, like first name, last name, not like a gimmicky name. I don't think so. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of it. I mean, like Johnny B. Bad, but that wasn't really John. That was like uh, yeah, John Bradshaw Layfield, but he was JBL. That's kind of a weirdy one. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they didn't they didn't call him by his full name. Yeah, it was JBL. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John Cena. Just it's a shitty name. His attire is terrible. His wrestling ability is is mediocre at best. His mic work is probably his his best best ability, and he's usually corny as shit. So it doesn't help him much. They shouldn't have so many wrestlers with last names. They should. I mean, they kind of cut that down. They took away uh Langston, and they took they took away uh, uh Cesaro's uh thing. First yeah. Time. Yeah, but I mean, like you know. One of them, I mean, I like, you know, Ryback, Cesaro. That sounds good. Fuck. Yeah. I was, I was actually watching a, a Brody Lee and, and Tatanka match randomly. I don't know why they, they, they faced off in such a random matchup, but um, it, it just, I don't know, man. I was brainstorming. I was just thinking, like, you know, at the Rumble, why not bring back some guys like Tatanka? And stuff? I know they wouldn't get huge pops. But it's, it's something different, man. I mean, we, we're tired of seeing Jericho. We're tired of seeing RVD. We've seen Christian. You know, it's those aren't surprises anymore. Yeah, there is a... I mean, the, the surprises, they're talking about rumors. These are possible spoilers. I'm not saying they are spoilers, but they're possible. I mean, uh, Bo Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Boy, boy. 
<laughs> it used to be, man. Stop it, man. That is not a surprise. Boy, God. he's great. I love him. Oh, he's so awesome. He was, he was the greatest for like two weeks, and then it just kind of went downhill from there. Once he lost to R Truth, I was like, nope. <laughs> was he? That's it. All right, this guy just went to total shits. All right, so now I know where your um, yeah, your, my standard is just scale. Right. Now I know where your scale. That's 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 the bottom line, man, right there. That oh. is rock bottom. Once you lose to R Truth in like five seconds, that's it, dude. Can't get behind you. Now I do like the next one that is rumored. There is one more that they're talking about rumored, and that is D D P. Yeah, that would be cool. I guess I, I don't know, man. I was never really. A big DDP fan. Uh, I said DDP, DDP, DDP fan. So I don't know, man. I don't really care about it too much. It would be cool, though. I mean, that's it would be one of those guys that's in shape. So <laughs> yeah, he's still in good shape. Bad news. Barrett mentioned him. You know, kind of took a little dig at him the other night. So it would be. It would, it would make sense to bring him in. Yeah, maybe that's why he's doing the whole. Uh, the what, what is he doing? It's me, it's me, it's B yeah. and B. Yeah, yeah, he's doing the whole it's me, it's me gimmick. Maybe. I mean, and and, and, if, and uh, maybe they'll bring him in for another run, and you know what? I'd fucking love it. Yeah, I don't know about a whole run, but I can see him coming back for the Rumble. Bring him in. I would really like to see people like Jake Roberts. Like, bring guys like that, man. Oh, man. If I heard Jake's music play and for that run, I'd love it. Dude, I mean, why not bring, like, Barbarian back? I know these guys won't get huge pops, but Ascension made mention of them. These guys are still in good shape. Warlord, uh, Barbarian. I mean, I'm not saying bring bring back Demolition. I mean, we've seen them. Oh, God. They're not in good shape, but, you know, power, uh, power of, Powers of Pain, they, they, they can bring them out. I'd be happy bringing Maybe them back. Maybe not for the Rumble, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't get a huge pop at the Rumble at all, but... You can have them attack them on the roll or something. I don't know. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If they had any fucking brains, they would bring Animal back to manage a tag team. Yeah, that would actually be dope. I like that. Oh, and, and go after the Ascension for talking shit about him. But no, that won't happen. No. Why would they do that? Or just, just have Animal just, just fucking manage the Ascension. They could do that too. I mean, god damn it, his fucking brother works there. Yeah, just just do that. Yeah, isn't isn't his brother fucking uh what's his name? The the guy with the weird voice. Yeah. What's his name, man? Don Laurinaitis. There you go. Shane Douglas's fucking gay partner. Dub 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 Super Dave Osborne, that's who he sounds like. Yeah. Dynamic <laughs> dude. It had to be the worst. I mean, that. Is, I mean, honestly, if Shane Douglas and, and John Laurinaitis came out as as the fucking dynamic dudes today, I would <laughs> get more than Cena. That's that's one gimmick. I would honestly, that would make me turn wrestling off right now. I would just, I would stop the, the show. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I would probably just just watch Lucha Underground and that's it. So dynamic dudes, if they come back for the Rumble, I I quit the hot. Team. Podcast. There you go. Hey, you know what? Speaking of, you get, <clears throat> you should check and see if you get, uh, you get Destination America, right? Yeah, I get, I get Destination America. And you've got Verizon. I got Verizon. I'll bet you get Access TV. I'll I, bet you get New Japan. No, I don't. I already checked. What did you type in when you looked? No, I, I, I saw the show. I just don't get the channel. Cause I do. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the channel. I get it. I get it, and I watched it, and it was one match. It was decent. It was Tanahashi again. Um, was it against Okada again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it was a long match, and there's it, it, it was it was decent, but it looks like they're just gonna do like one match per show. That's fine, man. I mean, they have every show. They have to. I mean, people people aren't familiar with them, man. They have to just build it up. Well, if I get one match per show for more than like four or five shows, fuck that. I'm deleting that shit. Yeah, it's been, I mean their matches are long as hell, so. Yeah, but. I mean, you gotta you gotta keep in mind, man. I mean, they're gonna play the matches. They're gonna play like the classic matches, you know. The, it was the, an hour. It was, it, it was an hour show, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's New Japan for you. Hour hour long matches, man. God damn, fifty three minutes, including commercials. I was tired when I got done watching it, but it was a great, it was a good match. But did he did he play the air guitar at the end? No. He has to stop that, man. I hate that. That's, God damn, he even it was horrible that one night of that global force one. It was it was just ridiculous. I you know I love Japanese wrestling, but they are, they are like some of the corniest people, man. Like if you watch Japanese wrestling, yeah, it's like, oh Jesus. Yeah, and I'm a huge Japanese wrestling fan. More more of like the hardcore Japanese portion of Japanese wrestling, but regardless, it's just it, they've they've always had corny ass people because they always try to like they kind of try to like duplicate America, but they do it like in a corny fashion, so it just comes off really really cheesy. Yeah, it does. It, you're right, it does. But I don't know. It's decent. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna watch it, and see what they do. Um, like the Japanese crowd, man. I remember. Uh, do you remember uh, Kentaro Kanemura? No. Um, he he was the guy that uh, he faced like Cactus Jack and 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 one of those famous barbed wire Cactus Jack matches. He uh, he's the guy that got stabbed yeah. by Kevin yeah. Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah. He had like an ECW run as well. Um, <clears throat> that guy. He, I mean, he was he was like really over in, in Japan, you know. As far as like the hardcore scene, he was in FMW for I don't know, like ten years. IWA, Wing, everywhere, you know, ECW, you name it, he was there. So he had like a, I guess, Big Japan Pro Wrestling was was feuding with a CZW, and uh, they were doing like like America against against Japan, they were doing like the hardcore angle, and CZW was invading Big Japan. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, I guess he had a little group. He had a little team put together. So these guys would come out, and they had like the corniest dance. And I believe that they came out to like that. Uh, what was what was that one Japanese guy? He was off of like uh one of those like The Voice or one of those shows, the Gangnam Style. Is that it? Oh, Psy. I don't know. Gangnam Style, whatever the fuck that is. His name is Psy, P-S-Y. There you go, Psy. They would come out to that guy's song, and, like, dude, the crowd would go nuts. They're doing the dance and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what, what, yeah, this has to be Japan. Like, what? Mm. Never get over Like, imagine if that happened here. Especially at, like, a like a deathmatch wrestling tournament. You know, not like a WWE show. I'm talking about, like... Some fucking gory barbed wire exploding matches, thumbtacks and scorpion. Like there has to be some sick fucks in there. You not not your normal type that would go to a wrestling show. And these guys are dancing to like Gangnam style. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Hey, this is Japan for you. I guess so. And you got Puerto Rico where they're throwing batteries and rocks at your head. So Oof. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't sound like fun at all, in my opinion. Oh, sounds like fun if you're on the on the opposing side. I guess so. so. I was thrown back, you know. Um, <clears throat> did we ever finish the last match? We did not. <laughs> okay. Um, here, we can finish the last match quick. Cena wins. Cena showed up. Uh, Sting showed up, and so did Brock. Sting showed up. I think this, this deserves some time, man. First time ever on Raw. I fucking loved it. I mean, they've only waited, let's see, one, two and a half months now. Right, yeah, they never followed up. Okay, so two and a half months. Um, you know what, you're right, we do need to spend some time on this because I thought Triple H flipping out was one of the best things I've seen him do in a long time. Dude, I don't, honestly, man, I, I praise Triple H. I think he's fucking great. Him and Steph, I, I really don't mind. Oh, yeah. Like, the authority authority, I just mind Kane and Big Show and all those, those other extra guys. Those well, guys need to go. Yeah, and you could always say, you know, you're sick of authority figures, but if anyone's going to do it, they pull it off very well. Yeah. Because they're very douchey. And plus, they're not playing a gimmick. That's that's their actual job. They're, they are the owners. So. And they're and you can tell Triple H is just being his douchey self. Yeah, and he, I mean. I, think I, I like it, man, because he has a sense of humor. He gets it. You know, you can tell he gets it. He understands. Well, he gets it, but he also buries people when he doesn't mean to just by making jokes. He needs to chill that shit out, too. But 
Yeah, but then, I mean, uh, I mean, he buried his monkey, dude. He, when he buried the Miz, he buried his old fucking, you know, uh, film crew. You know, pretty much all WWE films are trash. WWE film studio, you're right. Yeah, he just completely buried all of them. But I'm, I'm sure he didn't mean to, so, I mean, I don't know. You're right. You're right. I like Triple H, man. I don't know. At the end of the day, I think there is too much of him. I don't think he needs to be doing 35-minute promos in the beginning of every show. That's Ugh. unnecessary. But I think I think he has a valuable position on the show. I think it's it's necessary for him to be on the show. If it's not, you know, the roster's already lacking depth. The last thing you need is, is less entertainment. And I think he's, he's one of the entertaining portions of the show. So I don't mind it. There you go, bro. And, yeah, you're right. As him selling uh, – you know, Sting coming out and he was pissed off. That was, that was great, man. That was awesome. Yeah, I thought it was a, a good segment. I, I thought he did really good. He was, I mean, screaming, yelling. I don't know. I mean, you don't always need the screaming, yelling, but I got to admit, I miss it some fuck. I, I miss it sometimes. Yeah. He's gold, man. I don't, I don't yeah. care what he says. He's gold. And, yeah, he's definitely fucking great in the ring, so that's a good thing. So and, You know, keep in mind, dude, everybody, like, shits on him because he's, you know, the, the, the owner's you know, daughter's husband or whatever. Like, dude, this guy did not, he didn't just marry into the family. He, you know, he put in work. You know, that's not, he's not just some random guy that just married Steph and took over. This guy was at the fucking bottom. And plus, he, you know, he got trained properly. Didn't he go through, like, Lu- Luthes? Um, I believe it was Luthes. I think no, got- no, 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 no. God damn it. Hold on. Give me two seconds and I'll think of it. If if not, Luthes co-signed him. I mean, I think um, I think he had a relationship with him. Um, God damn it! Why did I draw a blank? <clears throat> God damn it! Hold on, I'm gonna have to go to the chat room because I can't think of it. I, I, I can see the name, I can, but I can't say it. Killer Kowalski. Killer Kowalski. Thank you. I'm sitting there going fucking K. Say the fucking. I, I thought yeah, I thought it was Luthes. Anyway. Either way, Killer Kowalski just you know just as uh, as valuable of a player in, in pro wrestling history. So you know going through guys like that, I mean he earned his respect. He understood the game. He put in time. He put in work. Man, it wasn't just a fucking random guy coming in and banging Steph and, and you know gaining that position. You know, I, Plus, you know, people forget that he was in DX. He understands humor. You know, he's not some old fuck that never. You know, had any kind of sense of humor or, or charisma. The guy gets it, man. He was, he was in the golden age, and you know, he has to do certain things in a fucking you know PC way because of Vince and because it's a politically uh, fucking it's it's a publicly traded company, and they have to be politically correct. So you know, it is what it is. But yeah. ultimately, I think, I think the guy's a good guy, man. I think he loves wrestling, and I think he's entertaining. So there you go. Very long time, and yeah, I mean, like you said, he didn't just go out there and. I'm going to marry Steph and take this company over. That's not how he did it. He he did good, man. He he He's done a lot of shit and been there for a long time. So, yeah, I, I give him credit, too. I've never – I mean, I've, you know, he's not the greatest wrestler in the world, but he's definitely, definitely one of the – you know, he was one of the guys that kept it going in the Attitude Era. Yeah, I mean, he has to be top 15 at least, you know. I'd put him top 15. No, I agree, man. Yeah. Well, maybe actually, I don't know if I'll put him. Maybe top twenty, maybe. He, yeah, definitely be in the top twenty. But I'm, I'm gonna come up with a top twenty one day. That oh. way, I can just, just refer to my top twenty, and I don't have to. Oh, not tonight. Oh no, I didn't say tonight. That'll be <laughs> getting late already. Well, later for you than me. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Well, what what else you got for Raw? I mean, that was pretty much it. We got the uh, we got the Rumble coming up this weekend on Sunday, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunday the Rumble's gonna be here. Shaheen will be there live and in person. I will be there, and I will be at uh, Ring of Honor on Saturday. Will it Rumble on Sunday? Uh, maybe Jr's thing. Probably not. I probably just fall asleep. Um, to be honest, no disrespect. I probably fall asleep. Eric Bischoff and uh, Tom Pritchard or one of those guys, they're, they're doing some kind of debate on, on the Monday Night War. Again, I'd probably fall asleep, so I'm not going. Dude, I'd go to that if I was you. Uh, 
Think so? I don't know. I personally would. I would find it interesting. Honestly, I, I don't. I don't like supporting. You know, fine stuff. I don't, I don't want to put a dime in his fucking pockets. Oh, I forgot you said it was a fi- it was fine yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's, it's 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 RF, man. Fuck that. Yeah, I guess you could skip it for that. But I, yeah. I, I wonder if they're going to tape it and televise it. He's going to tape it anyway, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You, come on, man. Are you kidding me? He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna push that shit as much as he can. That'll be a DVD coming out in, you know, in about a month. It'll be on demand online. It'll be fucking Blu-ray. And it's funny because DVDs and Blu-rays are the same quality, so I, I don't fucking get it. <laughs> but uh, I don't even think it's a Blu-ray, honestly. I think he just puts a DVD in there and it's just... I guarantee you, man. They, they, they do shit like that. They're fucking scumbags. <laughs> so, that's funny. Well, what do you think? Do you think we should? I've got a couple bullshit news stories I can go into if you want to, real quick. Yeah, I got I got a couple written down here as well. Oh, this will take no time. My my quick ones. This is an easy one. Uh, Heath Slater, if anyone remembers, he had a, some charges that he was um, assaulting a woman back uh, a while ago. It was in, somewhere in Georgia, I think. Um, dropped. Jerry found that uh, there was not enough. It was bullshit, basically. So uh, he's good. He's good to go. You should see Heath Slater back very soon. Probably not, but yeah. Nah, uh, you'll be surprised. I got a feeling you'll see him back. So, I I, I like Heath Slater. Eh, he's all right. I don't really particularly care for him either way. Yep. Well, here's here here's something good then. Um, the next WWE NXT Takeover special will be Wednesday, February 11th. Man, so, that's, uh, seems like a long way. No, I, I guess not. No, so it's the twenty. It's the twentieth already. So it's uh, it's it's like a month away. Well, not, not even one, two. Yeah, it's not far. Have you have you been keeping up with NXT at all? No, I got a hard time doing it, man. It's yeah, I haven't I haven't watched it either. But I just I was just wondering what's happening with the steam up there. <coughs> I don't know, man. It's 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 really. God damn, dude. I mean, anyone who says it's better than TNA might need to rethink if they're a real wrestling fan, in my opinion. Yeah. A bunch of rookies are not better than the talent in TNA. Yeah. But it, 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 it probably – they should probably have like a – these guys should be on T on NXT right now. These guys maybe shouldn't be. They probably should split it a little bit. There's a couple of guys that probably don't need to be on right now, but I don't know. I mean, it it it's it's. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. They're mostly rookies. Some of them are very green. Some of them stand out not being so green. You got, you know, your Finn Balor and uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. All those guys are definitely, you know, they stand out as being better than anyone else. But then you got some guys in there like that fucking C.J. Parker guy. What the Heck, fuck? That guy sucks. I mean, you got guys like him, this Corbin guy, this big tall dude that keeps coming in and squashing people. I actually like him. But, 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 I don't think he can go any more what? than. A couple minutes in the ring, right now. Probably not. No, I'm, we don't know. Actually, I heard that he can go, but we just haven't seen it yet. Well, they need to show me. But I got a hard time watching. I try, dude. I ain't lying. I try. I've tried time and time again, and I want to watch it. And then I start watching it, and next thing you know, I'm on my phone, and the show is over. And I'm like, I don't even know what happened. I don't, even, I don't even care what happened. The yeah, only thing I care about is pretty much, you know, Sami Zayn, Finn, uh, Kevin, uh, fucking, what's his name, Owens, mm-hmm. and uh, probably uh, Adrian Neville. Mm-hmm. And that's about it, man. I mean, I, I don't really... What's the Japanese dude's name again? I forgot. I should probably grow to like, but... Hideo Tommy. I, you know, I don't know, man. I don't really care for him too much. 
like I said, man, I really see him becoming like a Dolph Ziggler. The guy sells too hard. He sells everything like he just died, just like Ziggler. Yeah. And it's gonna, it's going to be a detriment to him in WWE. Yeah. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. He could learn to do it different, but this is this is where we need the chill the fuck out button. He needs to chill the fuck out. He, he's uh, uh, Tommy's. They say he's very willing to learn, so that could stop. He could, you know, learn a, a, to to not sell like 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 he got killed in every move. Yeah. So who knows? I mean, I I, I but you know, and I could be wrong. This is again, this is my opinion. I think he's going to end up like Ziggler with a push, a stall, a push, a stall, a push, a stall. Yeah. But. Like I said, I could be wrong, and I probably am. I usually am. No, that's not good. Come on, man. Come on. We're we're we're, we're spitting facts. We're never wrong. I forgot. I got a microphone. I am right. Fuck all y'all. Yeah, man. As long as you got a microphone and we're on iTunes, who gives a fuck? We're always right. That's it. And my third story that I had was The Rock is set for GI Bro three. I mean GI Joe three. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's cool, man. I don't really care for this. You have you watched any of the movies? I I never watched them. Um, yeah, I've seen the first one. My, I, it's it, it is it, it's pretty good. It's it on in my car. My son got a hold of it and watched it, and oh my god, it's on in my car all the time. Yeah, see, I actually I own it on Blu-ray and DVD, and I never even opened it. I have like the sickness where I collect DVDs and I don't watch them. It's fucking weird. I had that problem for a while, but it was VHS. Yeah, I, I hate it, man. Yeah, back in the day, I would like, like when I moved here, I went through my movies and I had like almost a hundred and hundred and twenty movies that weren't even out of the package yet, like still wrapped. Yeah, I'm probably like that now. I'm, I think, uh, I think I own right around like thirteen hundred DVDs, probably a couple hundred Blu- Blu-rays, maybe like three hundred Blu-ray. Nice. I had a good couple thousand VHS when I moved. Yeah. I would just, that's what I would do. I would buy movies. Yeah, that was like, uh, yeah, that was my addiction for a while. And I just, I, I, yeah, like the odd thing is I wouldn't even watch 5% of the fucking movies. It would just collect dust, and it still does. And when the internet came out, I found all the movies that I couldn't find online through basically through fucking IRC chats I found them yeah see I don't, I don't know all these that was old school dude IRC chat was old school that was before chat rooms and that, that, that was pre AOL dude Jesus yeah um, there was one movie I couldn't find forever we're done with Raw so I can talk about bullshit now there was a movie that I've, I was looking for forever there was two of them and they both had the same actor Judd Nelson what movie? Uh, the first one was called Billionaire's Boys Club. Never. Uh, it's got him and um, I think I think his name is Ron Silver. Um, do you ever see Time Cop? Mm, I don't think so, but it sounds really familiar. Okay, well he was in that. Um, and uh, the second one was another Judd Nelson movie called Making the Grade. Never seen that either. Okay, that had Judd Nelson and, are you ready? Andrew Dice Dice Clay. Who the fuck is that, man? Who's what? Wait a minute, what? Who the fuck is that? Who's Andrew Dice Clay? Yeah. Are you serious? Um, Dude, I don't know any actor's names at all. He's more than an actor. He was a comic. Let me let me let me do a quick Google. Andrew Dice Clay, like Systematic just said, he's the only person to ever. Oh, I know him. I know. I know. Oh, I was hey, gonna say. Yeah. I mean, I, if you want a nursery rhyme, I'll give you one. I know them all. He, I never found him funny though. Well, he was in this movie, and he played a character called Hey, get this, Dice. <laughs> nice. 
So no, it it was a making the grade. It was a movie. about who didn't want to go to school so he hired Judd Nelson who was a street kid to go to school for him yeah and it was a uh, a prep school and it was awesome dude it was a great movie it's totally 80s but I love it and I I've got it now I have it on DVD now but yeah dude Definitely. one of the best movies it's it was awesome yeah I used to be like really into like uh <clears throat> Like collecting and and trading like uh like you know of course like wrestling tapes and and mainly uh like horror. I used to collect a lot of horror movies. Huh. Like you know like all the rare ones from Italy and all that. Shit. I mean back back then it was rare. Now it's just everywhere. Yeah, now it's everywhere. Now yeah. You can go on Amazon, you can get anything. It doesn't. Yeah. I I was always into some weird movies. Like I would just get some obscure movies. Like I got I got another movie called Nowhere, which probably no one has seen. Well, can't say I have. No, it's a creepy movie. It it it's a movie. It's a it's like a teen kind of movie, but it turns out the whole movie is about aliens at the end. It's kind of fucked up. Nice. Do they show the alien? At the end, they do. I mean, literally, this is the kind of movie where, like, if you took acid at the end of it, you'd be like, "Oh, what the fuck, dude." <laughs> that's, that's like one of my pet peeves like alien movies where they don't really show the alien I fucking hate that yeah they. Um, I fucking hate that dude that's like just ruins the whole movie if you're not gonna show it to me it's just they I don't literally never it. yeah yeah but they really like they never hinted even it was until the complete end of the fucking movie but um well, that's pretty cool I, I, should, I gotta check that out is it on Netflix that might be by now. So it was called Nowhere? It might be. Here, you... I'll tell you yes or no, but um, I don't know, man. I got... Th- there's so many... I love movies, and my girlfriend doesn't understand how I can watch movies, like, time and time and time again. Yeah, I used to, like, uh... I used to get, like, a lot of, like, Italian horror. Or, like, really cheesy and, like, 80s B movies. <laughs> You know uh, Lucio Fulci, Fulci or whatever his name is. Who? I don't know. It's, it's, it's an Italian director. I don't know if it's Lucio or Lucio, Fulci or Fulci. I for some reason. L- e I O. It sounds it, familiar, but I'm I'm not gonna say I know who it is. He did like the zombie movie. He did like a uh, demonic. He did. Uh, something in Manhattan, I think. Hold on one second. Demonic. Wasn't that the name of the game in Grandma's Boy? <laughs> I don't know. That, that movie was awesome, though. Grandma's Boy? It was. It was the name. I saw it last week. <laughs> yeah, it was, you just saw that last week? It's been on my cable. That movie was awesome. Yeah, it's been on my cable. Uh, he did uh, The Beyond. That was actually a really good movie. 1981? Don't remember it. Yeah, check that one out, man. That one's good. The House by the Cemetery, The New York Ripper, City of the Living Dead, Zombie. I thought he did Suspiria, but I think that's Dario Argento. Huh. I think that's Dario Argento. Do you know uh, Dario Argento? Yeah, you do have some weird shit. Yeah. Does anybody know what I'm talking about in the chat room? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Please, somebody know. Yeah, does anybody know what I'm talking about? I don't know, but they're talking about basic aponomics. I like that shit. <laughs> nah, who doesn't? <laughs> Wait a minute. I uh, oh, Bear Winch Project. There's a one. There's probably one. <laughs> Bear Winch Project. I did. Have a uh, video. Um, it was kind of like the where we're, we're gonna go against Blockbuster, except they had a porno place in the back, and my like every person from my high school worked there. Yeah. So you know, it was pretty easy to. Uh, a lot of my movies have no cover. Yeah, believe me, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to explain where most of my movies came from. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, there you go, man. 
Kev, Kev knows what I'm talking about, man. Argento is good stuff. Suspiria is a good movie. Right. How have you never seen Suspiria? That's actually like a pretty big movie, I thought. I thought that was like... I'm really not into... That movie's not on here. But I've got it. Nowhere? Yeah, it's not on there. But I've got it. I could... um. I could drop it somewhere. I could drop it on the drive for you. I need to put a God. I keep forgetting to plug in my wrestling uh, external and put a um and get some. Uh, yeah, let me let me get some shoots. Shoots. I'll do that when I get home. Oh, let me get some shoots, dude. Because I got. We're gonna be getting out of here soon. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We only got a couple little news things here. Um, Triple H made a kid cry. I saw this, but but. Go ahead. Yeah, but he, he, you know, he broke out of character, and he hugged the kid, and I guess he apologized and made everything okay. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this, this was this was nice of him. Good for Triple H. Man. I, I don't know exactly what he did to make him cry, though. I didn't really read the article. But uh, I guess it was it, it was when he at the end of the show when he was you know yelling at you know yelling and screaming at John Cena, and they, some kid just got upset. I don't know. Well, if that's the case, then I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. Well, I don't know. I mean, he. he, oh, he come he, on, he, man. He, he the kid. Dude, come on, man. It's 2015. The kid took it a little too serious, but that's what, little, that's what happens? It's a pussified society, man. It was a little kid. Dude, but that, but I'm saying that little kid is gonna grow up to be a vagina when he grows up. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Uh, it's a fucking wrestling show, man. The guy is like screaming at, at John Cena, so right. now he has to break character and go and fucking apologize. Like, Come on, man. I'll make you feel better. I thought he actually did something to the kid, like he yelled at the kid or something. I mean, that's that's understood, but I, if he just broke character just because some kid was crying because he yelled at John Cena, like what? Come on, man. I completely I'm take crying like a pussy. Okay, crying <laughs> like a pussy, man. Little kid, <laughs> step it up. Step uh, up. Whoever his parents are, man, step that up. Hey, uh, that up, kid up man. Jesus Christ. Uh, Where are you people from? I, well, I guess they were from Texas. Shit, man. Somewhere in Texas. Somewhere, I guess somewhere in Texas. God. I'm telling you, man. You hear all the stories about how tough people are in Texas. Don't believe that shit. Apparently not, man. They got they got little kids crying like pussies when when John Cena gets yelled at. So, <laughs> so I don't know. He, you know what though? Even he, he, it was still nice of him to go over and try to console the kid. Either way, man. I I don't know. We'll, I say I say old school man. Keep the fucking gimmick, bro. We'll just praise Triple H a little bit for doing what he did, and then we'll go on. I, I still think he should have just told the kid to toughen up. Toughen up, you fucking little brat. But that's what it, that, they would have probably did that back in the day. Probably, but this isn't back in the day. This is a these are millennials. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know uh, Chuck Taylor? Are you are you familiar with Chuck Taylor? Uh huh. Um. Do you know his whole gimmick was was at once uh, to to make little kids cry? Awesome! It's it was the greatest thing ever. He would make kids cry at every show, man. He was such a dick, but it was just such a classic heel, fucking. And it, it, you know, he would do it at shows where there's like a hundred people, so like it'd be a family of like twenty, it's just like all the kids cry. You got all these fat uncles down in fucking like Alabama trying to kill this guy. Great, <laughs> Great stuff. Check out check That's out some of his early work. Uh, put in uh put in like crying. And, and Chuck Taylor, I'm sure, I'm sure something will pop up. I'm sure. But uh, got a few more things here. We got a new Warrior DVD coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm actually excited for this. Very excited for this. And his wife put out a statement, basically saying that she's seen um, one of the the copies, and she's she's very excited, and she approves of it. And I'm guessing if she approves of it, they're probably going to be, you know. Putting him over and giving him the, the respect that he that, that, that is due. Yes. So, I'm very excited for this man. Hands down, my uh, favorite wrestler of all time. Not because of his in ring work, because you know I was a little kid when he came out, so I enjoyed it. The, the gimmick caught my eye, and I just I don't know. Always been a warrior. There you go, man. 
There you go, man. Jimmy Warrior! There you go. I bet you didn't even know I had that one. I didn't. One more thing. Uh, did you see uh, the, the Twitter wars between uh, JR and Josh Matthews? Okay. Glad you brought that up because there's another one we can get into after that. Um, I did. I think it was over UFC, wasn't it? Um, In no. fact, I know it was over UFC. It was, it was over yeah. UFC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was over UFC. And uh, Josh Matthews basically came off like a dickhead. So please go ahead. He, he deserves that button. Please go ahead and press that for this dickhead. He d <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. Oh, you fuck it up. There you go. Now go ahead. Please go ahead one more time and press that button for yourself. You dick. There you go. All right. <laughs> We're good to go now. Shut up! <laughs> but, uh, JR. JR and Josh Matthews. JR and Josh Matthews. Basically, Josh Matthews uh, came off like a dick because he told JR to basically retire. And his exact words, I believe, was uh, to anybody that is 60 and above, please go away. And JR took offense to that. And rightfully so, he should. I mean,. I'm sure he helped the guy out when he was in the WWE. He just, he just came off like a, like a dick, man. I mean, maybe TNA is harsh on him. Maybe he's pissed off at that. I, I don't know. But he, he just came off like a douchebag. I didn't really I didn't like this guy from the beginning anyway. He reminds me of, like, Cena's little brother or something. So I don't <laughs> like this guy, period. This, 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 you know, fuck this guy. <laughs> Dad. So this, Guys on my shit list now too. So now we got Cena and we got Josh Matthews and Miz. Those three guys are on my shit list. There you go. See, I like um I don't mind Josh Matthews. I really don't. I don't mind Josh Matthews at all. I think he's fine. But he did come off a bit douchey here. You gotta kinda watch what you're I mean, you gotta watch what you say, but um there was another Little sort of Twitter war. Oh um, yeah, that's that's what I was actually gonna segue right into. Well, uh, okay. Well, did you want to do it, or you want me to go ahead? No, please, please go ahead. Okay, Lance Storm took offense to something John Cena said, and it was a complete joke. What Cena was saying. Cena had a little Vim, uh, what was it, a Vimeo video thing of him. It was a Vine. Um, and it says, anyone who's who says they're working their ass off isn't doing squat. And it's got a little thing of Cena doing squats with a lot of weight. Right. He yeah. didn't get the pun. Yeah. Lance Storm's fucking pussy started hurting, and he, t he tweets back, nothing like insulting a lot of hardworking people, John. Quite the arrogant comment, no. <laughs> he seems like such a dick. Yeah, and then some coach dude ch chimed in. Pretty sure it was just a weightlifting pun. And then what does Lance Storm do? Oh, millions of people following follow him. He should think bigger. Oh, fuck you, Lance Storm. No, he just felt like an idiot and wanted to cover his ass. He really sounded like a little bitch. I'm sorry. To say the least, he sounded like a little bitch in this segment. Or in, in this little Twitter thing he did. Come on. Cena was making a joke. Get it? Don't do squat. I'm doing squats. Ha, ha, ha. Right, right. Relax. I don't even get it. Yeah. Relax. Or as Sheen would say, chill the fuck out. Yeah, chill the fuck out, dude. Seriously. We, we really need that chill the fuck out button. I think we'd press that like 40 times a night. I'm going to have to make it myself because I can't find one. They got to they gotta just chill the fuck out. I'll make it. I'll do it. I'll 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 do it this week. Yeah, but Lance Storm, man, this guy, yeah, he comes off like a bigger mark than any wrestling fan I've ever seen in my life. He just comes off like a fucking woman. Yes. Yeah, he. I mean, you know what's sad? Do you see him every week throughout Raw? He tweets more than any wrestling fan I've ever seen. 
Yeah, and he said he's quitting watching about 30 fucking times. Yeah, and then he, he just, I don't know, man. The guy's he's out there. God, I hope we never have him on the show. Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't want to talk to that guy, man. Sorry. Jeez, and you know what's sad? The gimmick, he said he hated two gimmicks in WWE. One was the big dick gimmick. He couldn't stand it. People in church were looking at me funny. And he said he couldn't stand the gimmick where he was trying to be serious. Well, you know what? It wasn't a gimmick. I mean, that's why you hated it. Right. He was serious all the damn time. He was, and he still takes everything too serious. He does, man. He takes everything too seriously. And I just, I would, I would hate to be like in his family, man. That has to be like the most dull fucking house in the, in the world. Oh, and you know, and and let's face it, you would never jump on Cena's side unless he was downright correct. Right. And this was nothing to get pissed about. This was just bullshit, in my opinion. I don't know. It, it kind of pissed me off when I read it, because I was like, what a little bitch this guy is. Yeah, he's he's an idiot, man. He's, And, you know, he comes off like an intelligent person, so I'm surprised that he, he really didn't get the joke slash, you know, the pun, whatever you want, however you want to word it. But Oh, well, you know, you, you know what they say, book smart, book, book smart people have no common sense. Right. I'm certainly not book smart. There you go, man. But I'm sure you have common sense. And I don't have that much common sense. I'm kind of fucked, aren't I? Jeez. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I definitely have more common sense than book smarts, though. So. Yeah, well, that's good. So. Is it good? I don't know. <laughs> like Weevil said, God forbid some soccer mom is checking out Lance Storm. <laughs> man. Good. I, Only reason you'd be pissed to have a, a, a to, be, to 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 do a gimmick where you're you got a big fucking cock is if you got a little fucking cock. Was that his gimmick? You don't remember that gimmick where all the like all the divas were just looking down and being like, "Oh my god!" Oh, dude, I told I told you I stopped watching for like. Oh, you missed all that then. Yeah, I missed all that, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was his gimmick for a while where he had a. That's a, hilarious, man. That's a that's a good gimmick. What's wrong with that? Dude, I would love that fucking gimmick. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm fucking gimmick. What an idiot, man. This guy, yeah, he is a douchebag. Strutting out in that motherfucker like, I fuck a fucking cock of the walk, motherfuckers. <laughs> probably means he has a little dick. He must. He must. That's probably why he hated the gimmick. That would give you, I mean, but, shit. Plus, you know. People look at, if I had that gimmick, people were looking at me, I'd be like, what, bitch, you want to see? Yeah, of course. <laughs> on your face. 3D. Hell yeah. That, that kind of rhymed, actually. Yeah, it did. Good job, Shaheen. Look at you. Like rapping. Rapping my ass off on here. Rap, rapping Shaheen, like rapping Rodney. Been hanging out with Gucci Man too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can't believe there hasn't been one, one, one call in the chat room yet for Gucci Man. Yeah, there you go, man. Thank God we got through a show without Gucci Man so far. <laughs> we ain't done yet, my friend. We ain't done yet. <laughs> But uh, let me see if we got anything. I don't think there's anything else. We're pretty That's close to done. It, it it was a weird news week in wrestling. It was just a bunch of bullshit about what's going on. Um, now the Rumble, you're gonna be there Sunday. I will be there Sunday. So basically, I mean, just just to recap, I mean, biggest news of the week, you know, our truth is gonna be in in the Rumble, and a possible Royal Rumble entrant is, is Ryback, possibly. possibly. MVP. Big, big news. Big news. Dude. You gotta let me know when it hit that drum roll. I'm not a mind reader. Um, I apologize. All right, all right. Well, in that case, apology accepted. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Macho Man. <laughs> Thanks, Macho. But uh, yes, sir, I will be there, live in attendance at the Royal Rumble. Um, I spoke with uh, Steve and and Tony from 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 the Facebook, so. We might we might try to do like a like a high tech special from from the Royal Rumble thing. So if we can get internet, we're gonna try to see if you have some time. Maybe we can do some kind of show prior to the Royal Rumble. Yeah, jump on your just. It, it, you don't really need internet if you like. I said if you've got a phone, you can get in this. I mean, I can Skype you guys in on a phone if whoever whoever has Skype. Yeah, I mean, I can just download it on my phone, but yeah, and jump right in through there. I mean, if that that won't be a problem. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Should be a good time. We're gonna be up there real early. We're gonna get a grill out there, so we're gonna be barbecuing, drinking some burr. 
you know. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it you know what? You're, you're probably going to one of the best ones. This, this usually turned out to be a good show. And um, I mean, do we even know what matches are? Um... Yeah, that's a good fucking question. Do we even have a match list for the Rumble? Do we have a Royal Rumble card? Hold on. Are you typing? That, that's terrible, man. I'm going to the show and I don't even know what's on the show. Are you trying to find it? I'm trying. I don't know if I'll find it because I don't even think there is. I don't even think they know. I, I, I uh, well, let's see. What do we know right now? Ascension, New Age Outlaws, because I mentioned that earlier. All right. Um, Brian and Kane. No. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. Yeah, you scared me, man. I was about to say I was about to flip my shit, man. I was like, oh, fuck. I lied. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm. I, Dude, I, I, I was, oh man, you you were about to ruin the whole experience for me, man. I apologize. All right, motherfucker. All right, man. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Chill the fuck out, man. We need it. See. <laughs> It's necessary. I, I I was I was thinking of something else. I I my my, my apologize. There you go, man. Right. But uh, so I don't know. Any sort of match card? Um, WWE.com surely don't doesn't have it. So no, they're not gonna have it because they don't even know what's going on. We've got. Yeah, they, hey, chat room. Y'all know what matches are happening at Royal? Yeah, does anybody know what's happening at the Rumble? I know Miz and Mizdow. Are gonna face the Usos. That's one. They are. Okay, so there's two matches. Uh, we got the main event, of course. We know so, Roman Reigns is gonna be in the Rumble. We know. So we got four matches so far. We know our tr what? Yeah, the Royal Rumble match. Okay, the Rumble, the two matches we mentioned, and what's the fourth? The main event. Cena, uh, Brock, and Rollins. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's very forgetful, isn't it? <laughs> no, man, you forgot the main event. Jeez. Like I said, man. That's what you get when the when the title hasn't hasn't been defended for like six months. Yeah. Um. Thank God they took it off Brian because he couldn't defend it within three months. Right. <laughs> it's ironic, isn't it? Ain't it though? Really? But, uh, yeah. Um. All right. So. Nah, dude. I think I think that's about. I can't think of any other matches, unless there's a match with like. Uh, I don't think Rusev is wrestling because he's a, he's in the Rumble. I don't know. I don't know. So who do you think is winning the Rumble this year? Who do you think? Oh shit! Yeah, I guess we got to give our predictions before we go. Um, you on the spot for once. All right. As far as the what the whole the whole fucking all the matches or just that? Just the Rumble. Ah oh, man, that's a rough one. Um. I know they've really. I, I got to tell you, they've done good at keeping me guessing who's probably going to win. Yeah, yeah, I like it, man. I like it. Uh, yeah, they've given everyone kind of a a, a a a shadow of a doubt, if you will. I wouldn't say everyone. It's pretty much between Brian and and Reigns. I don't know, man. I mean, who else? You think those are your two? Absolutely. I mean, those definitely are mine. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, you know. <laughs> hey, man, Rocky's from Philly, too, man. It's all good. Absolutely, I'm from Philly. That's what I mean up there. It goes, yeah, yeah, what's wrong with you? So next week, we got uh, we got <laughs> some, we got Sylvester Stallone on the podcast. Thank so, you very much. Yeah. No. Yeah. Are, are you joining us early? What? What? <laughs> I thought you were coming next week, dude. What the fuck? What? Get out of here, Rocky, you son of a bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it next week? Yeah, next week. We'll grab some cheesesteaks and we'll do the goddamn podcast. Until then, you know, please shut the fuck up. Bring Watchman back. Next week, we'll interview you. We'll get some questions. We'll get some ratings up. Rocky will be here live from Philadelphia. Adrian, you cut. You told me the wrong fucking day. Well, oh, shit. Blame Boxman, dude. Fucking box him out. His name is Box, you know? He owns oh, the box. box that motherfucker down. Box that son of a bitch down. Oh. Hey, who was this? Rambo. Remember, remember Rambo when I was in there and I had my lips on? Remember that? Rambo. Yes, sir, I do. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm 
I'm gonna go drink some eggs. I'll be back soon. All right. Well, shit. Let me, let me get a shot of eggs too. I don't know where the fuck. That, what the hell is that? I don't know, man. We had goddamn Gucci man. We had Celeste Stallone. These fucking people just won't let us podcast. <laughs> I'm just trying to do. I'm just trying to talk some wrestling, man. All right, go ahead. Damn celebrities popping in and out. Oh, it's been a long fucking day. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I got the chat room rolling on the floor, but fuck it. <laughs> Box that motherfucker. But uh, is there anything? Oh, yeah, I guess. What is what is your prediction as far as the last two? The last two. Last two? Yeah, last two people in the in the rumble. Mine was Brian and, and Reigns. It's a, it's a tough one, man. You got Ziggler, you got Bray, you got Orton, you got Dean Ambrose, you got Reigns, you got Daniel Bryan. That's like six, five, six people right there. I don't know, man. I'm I'm after the pop Ambrose guy. It's possible. All right, last two. I'm gonna go Ambrose. Man, it would be nice to see Ambrose and Brian in there at the last two. Even Ambrose and Reigns as the last two would make it really kind of uh, interesting, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I like – I don't know. There's a lot of options. But then again, I mean, dude, we have to look at it from how they look at it. They look at it as a business. They want to make money, right? If they want to make money, do not put Reigns up there. Put Brian as the winner. You want to make money? Brian. Well, that's what I'm saying. They're, they want to make money, so let's let's go with that in perspective. They want to make money, so which one is going to sell a main event against against Brock? Brian. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's going to either be Brian or Reigns. And I see. I didn't think it was going to be Reigns. Like I did at first, and then I changed my mind last week. But the fact that they didn't mention him on that Legends uh, roundtable thing, yeah, that worries me, man. That makes me think that it's Reigns. You know, maybe they realize they still have time to insert Reigns into a Mania match a couple months down the road. I mean, it's let's see, it's January, so they've got couple, they, they they've got another month and a half, about four or four to six more weeks to keep going with him. Personally, what, what would I do if I? You know what I would do if I actually like ran WWE? I would take him off TV for the next month. And tell him to bust his ass and fucking get some, buy some charisma or something. No, dude, it's not even that. It's just the shit they give him, man. It's not yeah. even. Work, work on your scripted promos. How about just tell the writers to work on the fucking script of promo? Or on this, this try you with no promo. You got, you got, you got six weeks sink or swim. Yeah, or just, you know, don't give him that Superman bullshit. Don't give him the Mighty Mouse. Don't give him the, you know. Or the suffering suck attack. Don't give him the Tweety Bird bullshit. Don't give him any of that. God damn, that was the worst. I actually watched I, I watched that promo. Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, I, I, there's times I don't, I, I'm embarrassed for him. <laughs> you know, you get those douche chills. You're like, ugh, ugh, I can't believe he said that. But I don't know, man. But yeah, I mean, and then we got uh, let's see, Ascension. We know the Ascension and the New Age Outlaws. You think the Ascension's winning it? They have to. Well, I mean, ah, I don't. Because I mean, you said they're doing a long. Yeah, I, I, I see the, the 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 New Age Outlaws winning this one. Yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. I guess they would probably face them again at Fast Lane, and Ascension would probably get that one. Yeah. That, yeah. could, that that could lead to Mania too. Ah, uh, man, I really want to see like Dudley's against. I really don't want to see it, but I'm guessing that's where it's going because I don't want to see the Ascension at WrestleMania at all. True. But uh, it's not even that I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them like this. You know. Yeah, I agree. No, um, if they yeah. if they twisted it a little bit and and they tweaked the gimmick a little bit, maybe. But the way it is right now with the stupid paint paint. Painted faces. I mean, their their paint jobs are terrible, dude. It just the whole gimmick is is not working for me. I did notice one thing. What's that? At minimum, Connor 
ran the paint up into his hair from the red fucking triangle. Yeah. So it didn't look like it was just placed there out of place. Yeah. But of course, old Victor still has his all fucked up looking. Yeah, but they just... Yeah, they pretty much suck. Yep. So who's 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 taking the title? You know who I think is taking the title. Let's do it. Oh fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, here I'll give this to myself. Shut up! Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome very much. Go ahead. I don't, I don't know, man. I hate to say it, but I, just, I don't know, man. I don't want to see Cena win. I, uh, dude, I, even, I just, I think it's dangerous, like in my city, to put that guy over, because I know how much wrestling fans here hate Cena. You know, it's, it's not like one of those cities where he's gonna kind of get away with it. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. So you're not sure, huh? I, I guess we probably should just. Just go with one person. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with um Brock. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's it's very questionable. I'm not sure, but I'll just I'll go with Brock and All right. I'm you guessing that Seth Rollins is not gonna cash in. I think he should save it until WrestleMania. That's what I think. I think Cena's gonna win it. And I think that Rollins is going to cash in by some sort of fuckery, whether it's Brock taking Cena out after that or the authority comes down and something happens. There will be fuckery, and I think Rollins is walking out champ. And he's going to cash in at WrestleMania? I don't know, man. I, I, I think they're just going to switch things. Hey, there's still time, you know what I mean? There's still another pay-per-view in between. You know, dude. I, I hope. I hope it happened. I mean, I I like Rollins, dude. I I think he's amazing in the ring. I just don't. I feel I don't want to see the guy fail. And if they put the title on him and, and put him in the main event at WrestleMania, first of all, it's not going to sell. And second, I mean, I shouldn't say it's not going to sell because. I'm one of those guys that kind of believes that WrestleMania sells on itself. Unless it's like Miz against John Cena in the, in the fucking main event. Hey, that sold too, dude. I don't, that wouldn't sell me. Well, I know, but I mean, but what you just said, WrestleMania sells itself. It's a ha it's it's oh my god, Mania, I got to get it. Well, I was kind of speaking on. No, yeah, well, especially oh, for 99. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess in a general, yeah. It does. It does. Me Trust me, there's people that don't watch all year, but they will buy Mania. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is weird. I know. It's just like you have no idea what's going on. So it's... Mm -hmm. No. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing... I'm praying it's Brock. I hope it's not Cena. And if it is, man, Jesus. You see my voice just, just went... I just, my mood just completely <laughs> changed. It lasts like 30 seconds already, so... I think if Brock... Is yeah, he's staying, but I don't know if he is, man. I don't know. I guess we'll see, but um, I that's what I think is gonna happen. I I see, I see the cash in. Now, did you did you find it interesting how Paul Heyman kind of uh like I wouldn't say aligned himself with with Seth Rollins, but he kind of told him that you know I could possibly be your key to success and and. You know, I can I can make this happen. Well, if Brock, maybe the, see this is where I see seeds for the Brock leaving at WrestleMania after WrestleMania. Sorry. Oh, he's he's leaving, dude. I mean, I don't have any, you know, facts to back it up, but just just a gut feeling he's he's leaving. Hey, hey, you're on a podcast. We're you sorry, right, our, our, fuck it. We're spitting facts. He's he's leaving. Goddamn it. He's he's already signed his UFC contract. He's facing CM Punk. There you go. You heard it first. Hot tag podcast. Bam. Boom. Motherfuck yeah. UFC. Oh, I thought he was gonna go to Lucha Underground. No, you, dude, you didn't hear CM Punk. <laughs> Punk and Brock. Awesome, dude. I would pay big bucks to see that match. Oh shit, man! Breaking news. Tell everyone. Hot tag podcast. CM. <laughs> Brock 
Lesnar. UFC is happening. They've signed a contract. Um, yeah, Dana White told me personally himself that yeah. uh, we're buds. So, yeah, there you go. You have it. Yeah, I, I, uh, I hear you call him Dane. Yeah. <laughs> I call him D. 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 Dub. Oh. That's my boy. Oh. Yeah, like, do you know how? I know, do you know how I know D. Dub? How? You have to know. Darkwing Duck. No. <laughs> yeah, I know him through my pal, man. Which one? The one and only. Gucci Man. Oh, shit. What's in Hot Tan Podcast? Gucci Man back one more time right before we get off of this bitch, man. Hey, man, I, I don't know if I'm going to be at the Rumble, man. I don't know. This motherfucker over here ain't buying me no tickets, man. I come down here every time from Atlanta, Georgia. I come down here from my neck of the woods, the dirt of South. I come down here to Philadelphia. And I, I do this goddamn podcast with this motherfucker, and he don't even give me no tickets, man. I'm trying to go to the Rumble, but hey, man, I tell you what, man, we finna sit out here, man. We finna smoke this blood, man. We finna fuck these big booty bitches, man. We finna do everything, man. Royal Rumble coming up, man. Gucci man, I want to know only Dana White, I'm my boy. CM Punk against Brock Lesnar. You heard it first. Gucci man, that's Gucci. the source. Hot tech. Gucci. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, how exactly do you go to the Rumble when you're in jail? I ain't in jail no more, man. I'm I'm out of jail now. I got I got booty raped in jail. I got the fuck out, bro. What? Yeah, Gucci yeah. locked up. Gucci locked up. What happened, Gucci? Gucci got Gucci got booty raped and he got the fuck out. Oh, is that what happened? So yeah, that's 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 the word on the street, man. That's what's happening on the street, but that right, man. You got yeah, booty yeah. raped? You got booty raped? Hey man, Gucci man, Gucci man don't tell, man. <laughs> I can't even do that. But ask, ask what happened to him though. He ain't, he ain't he probably ain't living no more, man. That's Gucci man, that's Gucci man for you. All right, I'm sorry. I I I, I just thought I would ask the question. All right, man, Gucci man finna go ahead and drink on his Hennessy and smoke my Newport 100 over here, Gucci man, with my gold teeth and shit, man. But uh, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm get him right back to Sheen over here because this angry young man looking at me like he want to kill me, like I'm John Cena or something, man. Go to man one more time. I'll be back next week or something, man. Maybe he wants to lick your face. Ah, you say what, man? Maybe he wants to lick your face. All right, man, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker, I don't know what he talking about. Hey, man, you got me on this show talking to this 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 boy. He talking some fruity shit. What he talking about? <laughs> fruity stuff, bro. You got an ice cream cone on your face, man. All right, man. I got I got ice cream cone on my face because I'm iced out, man. I'm the icing man. I'm Gucci man. Everything Gucci, man. You got fucking testicles in the cone, bro. You got balls in the cone. I'm Gucci down from head to toe, man. My drawers is Gucci, man. No wonder you're getting booty raped. You got balls on your face. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. You you should be getting tea bagged. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. You better do your research on Gucci Man before you talk to me like that, man. Hey, man. Gucci Man, Atlanta, Georgia's finest right here, man. Eating them chicken wings and, and neck bones and shit, man. I don't fucking play around, man. Oh, dang. Oh. I don't play around, bro. All right. All right, Gucci. I put cocaine in my coffee in the morning, man. I don't even use sugar. <laughs> what? I'm hardcore like that, bro. I don't give a fuck. I put cocaine in my coffee. Well, that's 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 good for you, from what I hear. That's Gucci man. Yeah, Gucci. Bye, right, man. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, man. I ain't with the fruity shit. All right, thank you, sir. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Celebrity uh, filled show tonight. That was something. Jesus Christ. That's, this this is a great. This oh. this is celebrity filled. This fucking guy. This is great. I love this, man. We need more of this shit. Did he just? Did he say he, he mixes cocaine with his coffee? Yeah, he said he don't even use sugar. Ah, that's crazy. It's it's too weird. That was the thing. People people do that. I, hey man, that's wild. Hey man, I used to have a boss who put Kahlua in his coffee regularly. Yeah, but that's that's kind of understandable. But cocaine and, and coffee is. Well, they both start with C. 
True. Which absolutely means nothing. <laughs> but, true. But, if, but if we're spitting facts, there's one right there. Okay. That, is, that is a fact indeed. They do start with the letter C. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, is, that, is a, that is a fact, yes. All right, we're turning this bitch around. Yeah, we're actually giving given correct information. That is a fact. Yes, sir. Wow, real facts. I'll be real damn. facts, yeah. Damn. All right. All right, what do you say? We get the fuck out of here? Yeah, man, I think we've been on for almost four hours. Yeah. Let's, uh, all right, goodbye. <laughs> all right. You plugs or anything? No, I was just kidding. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice if we just left. Just all right, goodbye. I was about to hit the end show. I was about to hit it. Nah. but uh, yeah, join us on Stitcher, on iTunes. Please go ahead and subscribe. Please leave a review. Please share. Yeah. Go ahead and search in that search tab. Type in THT Wrestling, and it should, pop, it should pop right back up. Um, Facebook.com slash groups slash THT Podcast. Or you can just go to thtpodcast.com. Once again, thtpodcast.com. It's as simple as it gets. we got the social icons right at the top. You can just click right on them. It'll bring you to YouTube. You can watch us live. It'll take you right to our Facebook, right to Twitter. Let's make this thing happen. Please go ahead and share it. Subscribe and, you know, click that like button. Post it on, on a wrestling forum. Post it on somebody's page. I don't give a shit. Post it on anything. Gives a fuck. That's it, man. Get out there. Right. Let's they make this happen, happen, folks. Huh? What? Huh? Let's make this happen. Let's let's uh, hashtag flood the internet. Yes. They're already wasting enough internet space. Let's waste a lot of internet space on the Hot Tag Podcast. Let's That's make it happen. Let's, let's try to this, – this should be our goal. Let's try to waste as much internet space as we can with the Hot Tag Podcast. So please, post this as much as you can on as many fucking wrestling forums and websites. As long as they allow you, post it. Go ahead. And if they don't, fuck it. Post it. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You tell them, Steve. Yeah, I tell them it's a revolution, man. All right. Yeah, we're 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 uh we're making uh society men again. You well, know what I mean by that? Right. Five society is changing. The right. hot tech podcast is bringing the extreme to the podcast podcast world. You know. Right. No more crying like pussies. No more crying like pussies. No more fucking. Bitching and moaning and fucking being WWE apologists and feeling sympathy for for crying little twelve year old kids because no. John Cena got defeated so you know Triple H has to go in the pub. Fuck that. That's right. We're changing shit. We're on a mission from God. That's right. Yes. So fuck that. We are back. Share this shit, man. Let's get it going. We need some more viewers, although we've we've been doing pretty decent with the numbers with the iTunes and stuff, so that's that's pretty dope. But we need to get that on a, on a weekly basis. Some weeks we'll have like 700, some weeks we'll have two. You know, we need to get a steady pace. So let's get it in the thousands. You know, we're already at the hundreds now. Let's get it to the thousands, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go, man. I don't uh, I don't think I got anything else for the show. That's it, man. We're done. Yep, thtpodcast.com. Check it out. We'll see you next Tuesday. See you. Oh, good man. Time to kick back, take some business, smoke some weed. Woo!